Hello there, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the Daisy podcast. I want to thank all of our Patreon and YouTube supporters for all of their support. It is really much appreciated. I want to thank Malinar, Ken Brown, Tank Dazza, Shane Murphy, Big Dog, Florida AF, and Eric Johnson for our Patreon supporters. Much, much appreciated and much love to you all. And I also want to give a special thank you to our YouTube members, Jake Azira Cool, OG Bricktop, T Dog, Stud Muffin, Hannah Epps, Zenith777, You My Size, Andrew Boyd, Michael, Darkwing Tate, Daisy Hub, Marson P2, Matt Z, Raymond Normoyle, King Alabar, and Kenny Baker. You are all absolutely fantastic. You are absolute legends. Thank you so much for for providing for the show and supporting us in all of our episodes. We really do appreciate it and we can't wait to see you on the next show, The Daisy Podcast. Hello there everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Daisy Podcast, episode 117, where's the time gone? Feels like only yesterday we had 116. How's everyone doing? Dump, Lemons, you doing okay? Doing pretty good. Not too bad. Good stuff, good stuff, really, really happy to hear that. Are you guys been up to much this week? A whole lot of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> whole lot of nothing? Okay, Dump. Hard. What you been doing, boy? What? I have finally finished rigging the entire Daisy character model provided by BI in their GitHub repository they provide to us. That took a really long time for me to learn how to do, <laughs> but as I've shown to Lad, there are some cool things you can do with it. Oh yeah, no, I've, but, I've uh, seen yeah. them, they're absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Hello everyone in chat, thank you so much for coming along, I really do appreciate it. This is the fastest people have actually turned up for the podcast <laughs> while I've took over, so that's awesome. Hello everyone, I hope all your week has been absolutely fantastic, and I hope your weekend's going to be great. It's a long weekend over here in the UK, so I'm going to savour it. But before we continue, I just want to say a big thank you for everybody who's been watching the most recent episode of the Daisy podcast that's uploaded. I believe it's 115. Um, it's it's uh, the one with um, our good friend, Reedy Peasant. It has reached over 2,000 views. Um, Dump has kept us up to date with that, and the video's been absolutely doing great. So thank you, everyone, so much for that. Also... Um, I, I I started buying them again. I started I started I started buying them again. <laughs> and uh, only a matter of time. Picture. Yep. <laughs> I need to go back. <laughs> into into <laughs> Saver into into christen this episode. <laughs> Let's get right to oh. it. You, <laughs> you got a shotgun it. Come on, Len. I'm not shotgunning it. No. Oh. <laughs> Dude, bite the bottom. Oh yeah, bro, let's go! Chug, 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 chug. I am not fucking chugging this. Sod off, I am not chugging this. <laughs> oh, I bet chat wants you to. Oh no, chat definitely de definitely wants us to. They're going to be like, go on, like, go on, chug it on. I'm like, take your time for an elegant drink like this, thank you very much. So elegant. Oh, classy like. Yeah. Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, it's been a it's been a pretty Ooh. busy week. Shotgun it or twenty foot? No. Yes. Shotgun it. <laughs> I don't want to down this. And I, I don't want to down this in one. It's gonna make me so ill. Oh, you're not gonna be ill. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it might perk you back up. Yeah, come yeah, on, man. suck it up, man. You got that. No, 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 it's okay, buddy. I don't want you to throw up. <laughs> We're good. All right. Come on, let's fuck it, let's fuck it. No, sod that. Go, um, go, go, go. I'll, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do the 24 hour when I'm on stream again. <laughs> I'm not chugging any carbonated drink ever again. Sod that. Ooh. But, <laughs> but yes, no, it's so, you know, that you guys being pretty busy, that is absolutely awesome. That is absolutely great. No, oh shit, okay, no DOJ's trick. There's no red nine then. Right, okay, sorry. Yep. Allowed us to take a shot every time they don't release the red nine. <laughs> I got halfway through. <sighs> oh, right. Nice. <laughs> okay. <That's classy. laughs> Do you? <enjoy? laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But yes. But yes, episode one, uh, 117. So. <laughs> 
at the start of the show. I'm so sorry. That was disgusting. But yes, yeah, so it's been a it's been a fairly um it, again, it's been another quiet week this week. Um not a lot of stuff has been going on. Um I shouldn't have done the iron brew, my stomach is starting to burn. <laughs> what the hell is in that drink? Also dump I'm Wait. loving the glasses. Oh, yeah. You guys get to very see groovy. It. I, uh, uh, they I they like actually, that. they they actually really suit you. Not gonna lie, they really suit you. Fucking nice on you. Huh? Very could, groovy. Very very <laughs> very groovy, mate. Might be, yeah. you know. But uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's been another. I, I would say it's been another quiet week on the DayZ side. You know, the dev team have been hard at work on developing one nineteen, uh, which I'm really really excited for. Obviously, as you can see by the title, is update 119 just right around the corner. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that when, you know, you are right. I'm going to be burping a lot. Um, <laughs> he needs the glasses because if he takes them off, all he'll see is codes. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. But yeah, so... Oh my god, it's like the Matrix here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Absolutely. But uh, but yeah, no, they've been busy, hard at work on one nineteen. You know, they've been you know the media side's been pretty great. I'm really expecting to see them to do some teasers. But something that I just saw on Reddit just before, and I would love to get this guy on the show as a as a little guest. Uh, I don't know if you, you you guys have seen this yet or not. So <laughs> this mad lad. Visiting, he's in, he's in Prague on a trip. I, th I believe he was visiting his girlfriend over there. And um, no, it's not the skateboards, Gilsey. It's not the skateboards. But uh, we might show that. We might not. Who knows? I haven't actually took a look at it proper. But the Mad Lion is visiting Prague. And he puts out a Reddit post. You know, he puts out a Reddit post. And uh, just goes as such, you know. I'm in Prague on a trip. Should I go check out Bohemian Interactive? It was posted one day ago by Nathgen. So I was on the metro yesterday and noticed a guy with Bohemian Interactive patched soon onto his rucksack, and then it clicked. Oh yeah, aren't they based in Prague, I thought myself. The guy had headphones on and got off, but I kind of wish I asked him if he worked there, as I could have told him I was a big DayZ fan. But I did quick search, and yeah, they are based in central Prague. Would they appreciate me turn up? Part of me feels like I'll regret it if I didn't. What do you reckon my dudes? And, you know, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You know, people in the comments... But the Daisy Dev Team Red Handle actually responded. Hey Nathgen, Scotty here, Daisy Marketing and Brand Manager. Come by the office, I'll be happy to have a coffee with you. For your chat for your Twitter DM we can organise something. And it was like, oh Cray, this this is this is awesome. The mad lad actually went. <laughs> the mad lad I know actually what lads travel plans are. That's like, so cool. <laughs> that is, mate, I, I, I just saw this, and I was thinking, oh, who's Nathgen? Is he, like, some kind of, like, you know, high prolific streamer or something like that? He was just, as far as I know, he's just, you know, he's just posted on Reddit, and there you go. He's, he got free merch. He was allowed to go in certain parts of the the office. Mate. <laughs> I, I was a hint. I was a little bit jealous, admittedly. I was like, you fucking what? But that was so nice of them. And the the pictures, the pictures were great. He actually had a bio, Scotty. That he got the Livonia stuff. He got the postcard, <laughs> the map. Um, obviously the River Business Center and whatnot, and that's where the building is. And so, that's awesome, eh? So he, and, he, and, he, and he made a post alongside this. He said, "Such a cool experience." When I made my post yesterday about whether I should visit their offices, Scotty, the market and brand manager, reached out and invited me to visit. He came to meet us outside and took us upstairs to the office. I wasn't allowed inside the dev offices as they're still working on update 119, which is fair. But he showed us around some communal areas. We met some devs, he gave me some merch and then went for a beer. Scotty was so cool and hung out with us for almost two hours. He's obviously a big fan of the game himself and we talked and joked about the game the whole time. Scotty's top tip, aim for the legs. He also said 119 is a big update and that, and that it's mainly for Livonia, but also some things for Trenaris, which is quite interesting. I was told it should be with us in, in weeks rather than months, but I gather that's a bit of an inside joke. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Big thanks to Scotty and Bohemia Interactive for such an awesome experience. 
I can't post too much tonight as it's my last night here with my girlfriend's family, but I will tell you all much more tomorrow on my journey home. I saw this Guy's and I was a legend. like, Scotty is, <laughs> honestly, when it comes to like the marketing and brand management, Scotty is one of the best people to to work on it. And he, he proved that last year with update what um 114 you know with the toxic clouds and what he was doing there and little hints he he left for us but he's so amazing absolutely fantastic and just how wonderful they are um letting letting um Nath Gen, uh, go into the offices I've always wanted to to visit it's like a dream of mine to to visit the team to be like hey you know big fan love you can't wait but Hannah is his brainchild as well yeah Boydie but it is it's great you know and I, I'm just gushing <laughs> I'm just gushing it was really really awesome to read and and you know the outpour seems pretty positive um so but you know it was it was really really awesome what do you guys think what do you guys think I mean I know you said it was really really cool but like dude it was like wow <laughs> You gotta do a podcast there inside their studio now. <laughs> you, you know what? Right, okay. I'm I'm just gonna say this right now. If Scotty was to DM me and be like, hey, oh thank you very much, Dom, much appreciated for that. If if they were like, lad, dump lemons, everybody. If you were able to take time out to come to Prague to do a special one off, would you do it? I would be like, right. I'd fly out. hundred percent. I'd be like <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm putting in my holidays. I'm going over. I don't care. <laughs> I would so go over, even just to visit. Even just to visit. I would no, instantly know cool, go though. over. But... Imagine if we picked up Scotty and we record an episode <laughs> just outside of Tizzy at the ramps, at the helicopter ramps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. And DLJ actually talked with the guy. Oh, that's really awesome, dude. That is really awesome. But oh, yeah, it, it was... It was great. It was hey, absolutely You got a wonderful. DOJ face reveal? No way. I know. Lucky shit. <laughs> yeah. No, DOJ's had a black bar in front of his face the entire, the entire time. Oh, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, it was, it was just, you know, static senses, you know. Yeah, totally, yeah. But, yep. you know. But it's 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 actually quite funny because you... Oh, sorry. Go on, Dom. Go on. Oh, I was just going to say, this is really cool. And I think that the show's how, I guess... Uh, much bi as well um or scotty from the daisy dev team actually really wants to actually show that the team and stuff they're not a bunch of shut-ins who don't want to talk to anybody or be nice or anything like mm. that it's just it's just cool because it's genuine they're they're talking to somebody and i don't know much about this reddit user but he as far as i can tell and this is no offense to the reddit user but there are nobody they're not a content creator. They're not somebody who's going to be highly influential to their brand. Just a regular person who is all like, hey, I wonder if I should go to the Daisy Dev Studio or whatever, right? Yeah. And Scotty, instantly, talking to him. Does it benefit BI showing public niceties? Maybe a little bit. But, like, they didn't have to. And I think that's the coolest part about it is that. That's and it, they, didn't, yeah. they didn't have to give out a bunch of merch either, too. But they did, the, you know? The, yeah. The, they. Even on Twitter, you know how many people tweet about how they get free merch from Daisy? Like, mm -hmm. so many people. Yeah, yeah it, it's it was... just cool because it just shows that they're they're trying to be more part of the community, and that's a very good thing for them, especially since the dark days. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, definitely. But no, it was it was really it was really nice of them. Obviously, this doesn't mean, and I can't believe I have to say this, it doesn't mean you can just rock up to the offices and be like, "Hey, can I have a tour?" Because they're gonna be like. No. <laughs> I, w I would imagine, obviously, it was a special one-off because, you know, they were like, you know what, why not? I think it would be really cool uh, to have them on. And, you know, so it's it, it does it does prove that they are passionate. They actually do care about the player base and they do care about the fans. And, I think you know, uh, somebody just said it well, well uh, Justin Ogai says, it's not a product to them. It's an endless canvas. Well, that's it. I mean, we've actually, we've talked about that in the past before. Um, don't, but when it when it's come to modding with DayZ, it's like to me, if a game introduces modding, that game is then a canvas. You can do whatever the hell you want, and the devs are kind of like that in, in a in a sense. Like 
sure it's a game it is a product but to them it's their pride and joy it's their baby and it shows yeah, especially recently it really bloody shows so props to BI props to Sky for being so accommodating about that it was really really cool really awesome probably his last work or two I mean they... <laughs> but um, it was I, I would I would have I would have been like can I please see the dev officers go on I won't say anything I'll sign an NDA <laughs> I feel like yeah <laughs> I just have one question Scotty just one question once one question only where is my gun <laughs> is is my gun in please you know what ask ask scotty if i was in person i'd be like you can tell me just this, just a secret tip when we finally re get to see who who the yellow king is is he you are you <laughs> under the yellow helmet <laughs> you know what that would mate that would be the best plot twist ever that would actually, because I mean, Scotty said on stream that he has had his face scanned. He does. He said he doesn't know. But what would it, it, mate, if Yellow King turns out to be Scotty? Oh my god! Yeah, that'd be we find so out that, awesome. that Scotty becomes a playable character. That'd be cool, right? That would like, be everyone so else, oh. Every playable, every playable character. Imagine pulling is like a, a Dean Hall. <laughs> yeah, imagine pulling a Dean Hall though, and having him get killed off as the Yellow King, and then he comes back as a zombie. You know? Oh, oh cool. yes. That and would infected be so cool. somewhere, like in Livonia. Yeah, Dude, you'd have people making content like screenshots and stuff of selfies with Scotty in the game. Scotty's dead Hell corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay, that's man. morbid. That's morbid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, it was. They definitely should add themselves to a survivor options. They have actually done that quite a few times. Um, that the uh, I, I know Batty uh, in in the, well the old devs in, in Batty, they um they had the face scan back in 2017 2018. It was only until last year Batty's face was added. And she's the like her character is the only character that's actually got a tattoo on the back of her neck, and she still has that to this day. It's really awesome, really really cool. But yeah, go, going back to it, really awesome a bi. Really, really awesome. And so this is why this is like... Sure, they've done some very strange things in the past. They've done some very questionable stuff. Um, and the development have always been a bit weird. <laughs> but when the fan... When, you know, the, the care, they do care about the fans. You know, the dedicated fans. It's really awesome. Really, really cool. Oh, it's very good. So, you know, just... You know just just to let you know, Scotty, my DMs are always open for you, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell oh <my> yes. <laughs> Lad's, Lad's username is spelled Project Lemons Daisy on Twitter, okay? No, no, no. Yeah, feel free to hit him up. <laughs> no, no, shut up. Shush. Don't, don't steal my thunder, boy. <laughs> there you go. Oh. There you go. But yeah, no, it was it was really, really cool. Again, don't just rock up the offices and expect to, like, you know, be allowed in. <laughs> Although, no, don't do that. They've got the tank outside. They'll probably just run you over. But <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to lie. My stomach is feeling really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, no, it's... it's um, I'm just astounded. I'm just really, really astounded. It completely shockers. Because you, you'd think when somebody makes a post like that, they'd be like... They'd get shit on. There wouldn't be, like, there'd be people like absolutely ripping at the guy. Like, what, what the hell are you thinking? And the first post you see is from Scotty. You're like, yeah, okay, come on. It's like, <laughs> okay. Fuck around and find out, boy. Fuck around and <laughs> find out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hell, hell yeah, dude. I don't see why not. I think that'll be a pretty, uh, you know, ideal, <laughs> I, ideal, you know, situation when it comes to that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but um. But yeah, absolutely awesome. And it was, again, it was really, really struck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that. Uh, Dancer, Dancer Jesus in the Reddit said, Hope you didn't get caught in the storm. Glad you enjoyed. Thank you. It was great to meet you. Same, even though it was pretty brief. So. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Really, really awesome. Stuff that I did um, also notice on the Reddit. 
uh, just, uh, just, well, a couple of days ago now. Well, I say a couple of days ago, about yesterday. Um, somebody made a post called Frank Peterson Malvo. 1.1k upvotes um, on Reddit. Would you guys watch a Daisy-based movie slash TV show? Now, we did have Mr. Utah on the show quite some time ago. He was creating his Daisy series, and it was really awesome. It was really, really cool, but obviously they had to stop it. And then the announcement came that there's going to be an official one, but we've had no news. So is there actually still... I mean, yeah, sure, the upvotes on Reddit would signify that, but would you would you two actually sit down at the cinema and watch a Daisy movie, like a proper, fully-fledged Daisy movie? 100%. I do want to say something real quick, though. Mm -hmm. That bag that he's wearing is literally the same uh, videography bag I have. It's a it's a low pro. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've got it right with me, like right right beside me. That's awesome. I just, I just had to get that out real quick. But um, no, yeah, a hundred percent. That'd be great. As we've already seen, there's I think Face Fiction is mm -hmm. working on a movie. Yes, that is right. Yeah. Have we seen much from them? No, that's it. That's that's the thing. There hasn't really been um. There hasn't really been any updates at all about that. I do know that we, I think we were in talks with them when the news first came out. Um, we'll have to we'll have to reach out to, out to them again to see if they would be interested 100%. to come on. But um, I don't. I wouldn't watch a movie. I would watch a TV series. I think for a game such as Daisy, a TV series would be much more beneficial you'd be able to have a lot yeah. more storylines and it can be just completely like, you know, continue to to have different survivor stories on each season. Like, you know, one season's like got like six episodes and the next one based on popularity has got like more and more and then it can just spiral. I think that would be really awesome. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, but what kind of setting? Because attrition saying, I'd like to see something like a prequel to the game, exploration for what happened to the land, Riffy, etc., what 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 kind of a uh, what kind of premise would you like to see if it was like a TV show? Uh, um, I would like I would like it to remain the way it is. Uh, hmm. We have Daisy now, and I think the average person in the show would be a be part of the, the hysteria. Like they saw snippets of what was happening, and maybe they put in the show or the movie. Like they kind of remember small things. But they never give like a clear picture of like day one to whatever, like day one outbreak to this. But it's kind of yeah. like a they remember seeing the news slightly as they're trying to rush because, uh, you know, like we said, the Lord state. I'm um, just just my glasses like a nerd. Uh, the Lord does state that one percent of the population is uh, immune to it, which mm -hmm. means that this is like if you guys have ever seen some of the other zombie movies where like it starts spreading like wildfire. I wonder if this is what would have happened. And during that kind of situation, you wouldn't have time to get your bearings of what was happening. You'd just be trying to get out and survive. Yeah. Um, as a movie, I think it'd be fun to watch. I'd give it a chance. As mm -hmm. a series, I totally agree with Vlad. It would be cool. Um, and one of the beautiful things about this is that not every episode has to be... It doesn't have to ha worry about continuity because technically... In such a dynamic and crazy thing, um, world, kind of like, uh, I think that's where The Walking Dead went a little bit wrong. They always had mm -hmm. to have continuity 100%. And this, they could technically be all like, in one episode, maybe, uh, you know, somebody has like some really bad infections or whatever. And then the next episode, that person can easily over, um, you know, like in early in the episode, just die from some sort of infection or whatever. Um, yeah. But it's cool because it would allow them to uh, create a new story almost every episode in a way. Because how many times have we played Daisy and you play for a couple hours and then you log off and we play get back on? Maybe you no longer are going to go to Tizzy. Maybe you need to stop and get medical supplies now. Yeah. And that's the new story, right? Um, I think that would be the coolest part about it because that is part of the diversity of Daisy. You may be on a mission to Tizzy. But along the way, you might have to, like, take a lot of side trips. And by the time you're ready to go to Tizzy, you're all like, actually, I don't think this is a good move anymore. Let's mm -hmm. go back over here and raid this, uh, the Bybor military base, right, instead. Yeah. But, yeah, I could see it being an interesting 
uh, series, but as a movie, I probably would watch it maybe once if it was okay. Yeah, I mean, if it do, like if it does come out as a movie, I'm I'm automatically going to think it's bad because video game to movie adaptations are never good. They're never good. <laughs> Resident I, Evil. <laughs> uh, the, the first film, only. The second film was actually okay. I enjoyed the second film. And they did a film. CGI film. <laughs> and Okay, the CGI films, like with Leon S. Kennedy, the first, and what, Damnation and whatever the other one is, pretty good. The rest, god-awful. Just terrible. I've, I refuse to watch them. Oh, yeah. But with I remember the, you remember the uh, airport scene? That one was pretty good. Mm-hmm. When they had like the uh, airport get uh, overrun, but... Oh, that was so good. 100% though, with Daisy, if they were to do a movie, I think they'd have to follow what um, Star Wars did with Rogue One, where mm. it is canonical, but everyone dies in the end. So there's no oh. like plot holes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Everyone just is dead in the end, you know? <laughs> uh, I would say somebody was talking about uh, like having like get uh, streamers being, you know, either guest stars or like people on it. I actually would hate it if I saw a streamer I know playing or being part of a series or a movie. I, I would no, like to see no, nobody. Yeah. Well, that, no, that's the thing. When it comes to like the TV show, it's got to be completely new people. They're not involved in the Daisy community at, at all. Maybe like a like I wouldn't say like what. Well, maybe an Easter egg. Maybe something like that. But um. But yeah, I mean, J- Justin, uh, old guy, seeing spirits within Hitman. I enjoyed Hitman, Spirits Within, I got bored, but yeah. that's just me. Maybe uh, I'll have to rewatch it and then... Can you imagine the series' dynamic of, like... I, I, I wonder how well they could actually portray in a series or an episode the tension you feel when you come across another group of survivors. Remember that? Like, back in, like, you know, before 1.0 and it, PvP came like a major part where you you stumble across another group looting the same area as you and you guys are just standing there like, are we going to attack them or are we going to talk to them? Like mm. showing that tension would be so interesting, right? Um, <laughs> I would love to see that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I think uh, if I, Going going back to what I was saying about the movie, I would watch it as a guilty pleasure, even if it is bad. I would still buy a physical copy of the movie. In like for your shelf, my non-existent shelf. <laughs> hey, you I stop there. I see it. I I have stuff, but no shelf. I've got an idea of something I want to make, but no idea if that'll ever happen. But um. But yeah, no, if they do it as a TV show or movie, there's got to be unknowns. There's got to be unknown actors. Maybe a couple of like high-profile actors to kind of get the ball rolling, perhaps, maybe. Um, but... And that lad guy, too. Throw them in there. Yeah, as an infected. <laughs> Hell yeah. I wouldn't watch it then. Oh. <laughs> My brother in Christ, why are you so mean? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lord. Yeah, hey, you get, you get. But um, but it, you, you know what? You know what though? Like, I, I really like the like the fan made stuff that people have made over the years. Corridor Digital's Daisy video was brilliant, and I'm gonna link that. I'm gonna link that down in chat for. So if anybody hasn't seen it, you should. You absolutely should. Didn't Daisy also do like a live action cinematic trailer once? They did. They did, and it was great. And then and they used like the real life location. They actually went there to real life locations for for the shooting, and it was really really mm-hmm. awesome. And you know, obviously, it would be a massive disservice if we didn't include Mister ah. Utah, Mister Utah's video. And that was Chinaris the movie. I believe that was all the episodes combined together. But, um... 
if BI is working or not on the film, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Let's say, uh, Stud Muffins is saying that you would be the character in the series that's looking for the Red Nine. So you'd be the zombie land equivalent of the guy who wanted Twinkies. You know. <laughs> but it's a bad ending like not like I, I don't i don't get my twinkies i don't get my red nine what would be the point in living then like legit like <laughs> this is the last this is the last red nine and it's in shambles <laughs> <laughs> i would yeah I, I, that would be me when 119 hits and the red nine's not in yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, but um, but yeah, I mean, I've always been a sucker for like, like I said before, like the fan made stuff because I feel like, sure, the fan made stuff, the very amateurish, you know, you the, you can definitely tell that some of them they're just starting to get out, um, and to get into that kind of like whole scene of making those those kind of videos, those kind of movies, but um, what 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 has been your kind of like favorite dazing media that's not related to like not game wise but like video wise or something like that um probably like the corridor of a digital video honestly that was pretty solid it is to be fair it really really is i'm, I'm just sorry i'm just i'm just <laughs> yeah. laughing archie. hello archie thank you every f every f and time i Quite come in here lad is whining about that goddamn obsolete red nine i'm fucking telling you now archie right I'm fucking telling you now, right? Sunshine. Missed you. Hope you keep them well. Fuck you and your lack of red nine love, okay? <laughs> They're just gonna add it in. Only one will spawn at Livonia and it'll shoot 308. Mate, I would be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so upset. <laughs> and they they just it's just a reskin of the uh, longhorn and you have to break action the red. <laughs> don't do that to me <laughs> someone's gonna make don't a red nine mod intentionally <laughs> breaking the red nine oh, so it does shit. actually jam on every show can someone do that can somebody like make a break action red <laughs> <laughs> um dinner with dharma thanks for coming in i really do appreciate it i do have some speculation into 119 um we are coming up to kind of like a like earlier this year, we kind of had like predictions of one when one ten is coming out, so I thought it would be right. So when we're approaching that time, we'll start talking about it a little bit more again. Um, so, but if anybody does have any more information, they are free to share it as well. It's kind of like a, a group talk, group session. You know, we're talking amongst ourselves about it, but we also love to hear um, what other people think about one nineteen. Um, Dump looks like a snack with that beard. To be fair. Nice. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but, uh... Bre breach break single shot red nine. No, sort of. Shut up. I just... Alright, guys. I, ha I have a better idea. It, it looks like a red nine. It has the feed action on the top of it. But every time you do the break, a a break action, a bullet goes down and feeds into it. I don't like this. <laughs> and then, it's like a reverse and then you, you can mount the night vision scope to it too. You can, you can you can put the starlight on it. There you go. Oh yeah, and then <laughs> and then you can put a laser on it where the uh, Atlas uh, satellite sends down a huge laser. Yep, and an oil can suppressor as well. You can't forget that. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then then there, there's a, a vitamin bottle compartment. You can just. Yep. That's what the, that's the buttstock, remember? The, the Red 9 buttstock, oh, you know? That's where the vitamins yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take my Red 9! Don't <laughs> do that! We're not taking it, we're just make it, making it better than it ever would be, you know? No! <laughs> Shut up! Cease your vocal activities, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> They're gonna finally put in a Red 9, but it's gonna be the first child's toy that has the little, you know, gunpowder <laughs> pop things. Pop, 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 pop. That's gonna like be the it's got like the little caps, like the, yeah. The cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lad plays the game once a month, but demands we get that stupid gun back. Indiana Jones, mate. I will play at least twice a month if they added it back. You know, so you know at least it'll be at least it'll be a positive. 
But um, what the hell were we talking about? Oh, movies, yes. Movies, <laughs> yep. Red Nine <Nine-Nine> movies. <laughs> 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 you, you know you know what it is there was actually a period of time when i was getting like a little bit sick and tired of the red nine stuff but i'm so glad it's still stuck because it's it's still fucking awesome everybody is, is in on it it's great super slow <laughs> I can just imagine a Red Nine style, like, you know, blue, white, and everything like that. <laughs> Getting wet and wild and daisy. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, fine. I finally have the best thing that Daisy can give as far as the Red Nine lad goes. It will be in the PlayStation inside of Cherno in a case that he cannot get to, just out of reach. What, they intentionally have my, my Steam ID? Everybody else can touch it. Everybody else can access it, but me. Yeah, I have to literally no, no. place my trust. Oh, no, it's I'm not allowed a, to touch it at all. It's in a glass case. Like, you know, this is our history. And the Red Nine is sunken. So far, you can't actually get to it. It's like behind reinforced glass or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm... <laughs> Lemons, put that in Zagoria, please. <laughs> it's happening right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm already doing I'm, it. I'm, I'm laughing at both you and what Archie's just said there. Where is it? Lad's laugh is like when there's bird shit on a wet window and you're viciously trying to scrub it off. <laughs> oh, Windex. It works all the time. <laughs> hey, I, can, I love you guys so much. <laughs> Make you make this whole thing worth it, you really do, Jesus Christ. But um, my movies, movies, yes, I think my my favorite adaptation is definitely the Corridor Digital After Days video. It is really, really cool, really awesome, and I've always been kind of that kind of like interested me in wanting to make my own stuff, but obviously I never did. Um, Another good yeah, one too I... was the um when uh what was it? I think it was an interview. With um, some rack, but they're like firing guns in like <laughs> in rock. Hmm. Hold on, if I can find it, I'll, I'll send I'm, it to you. I know there's a I know there's a video interview, and this is when he was like the map designer of Daisy at the time, and they were at Starry Sabor, like the real life version. He was he had an AK, he was standing just outside like the big red barn. Uh, I, I know that I'm much. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I know that much. I don't <laughs> think he ever shot it though. Which, when you really think about it, that's kind of a bit like, oh yeah, oh yeah. We we'll want you to come, to, you know, to real life location. We we'll want you to talk about Daisy. I want to talk about the stuff you've worked on. Also, hold this AK. Oh, am I going to shoot it? No, we we'll just want you to hold it. Because <laughs> I don't recall him shooting that thing. Um, I I do recall that, but yeah. Also. What happens to the their budget on like their editing? Because like these old interview videos from like twenty seventeen look so good. Like <laughs> if you like if you just look at them, like if you see like the intros and the outros and like the cuts and stuff, like what happened to that? Are you able? Are you able? To, like post some. Of them? Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll send these off. But like, what? They're probably all like, "Hey guys, we don't have a lot of funding, so let's take it away from this and put it to the game." Yeah. 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 Probably. <laughs> yeah. They already had. They already had all this content though. Like, they could just reuse it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Apparently. Content. Here, I'll send this in the actual thing. Oh, did I just level up? Yep, I just <laughs> you advanced did. level 7, apparently. Yep. Yep. So these oh two. The second one, I think, has more of the editing in it. But if you just watch, yeah. like, the like the, the intro to this one, the um the infusion lead. Like, oh my god. The the stuff they have in that, I'm like, Hi. did uh, they like just the kill their editors? Like, me Fido. Did, did Scotty uh, eat them? <laughs> he absorbed them to gain their powers. He, he abolished the the enemy team. <laughs> yeah, that intro is actually I pretty love sick. How, uh, I love how at five thirty eight, the guy working on what looks like a watered map area is like all like really relaxed and chill as he's doing it and i'm still like i'm never like that when i'm modding i'm just like hey, which video oh uh, it's the same yeah. one just at 5 at 538 um he's, he's just doing development casually yeah he's just like oh for everything that moves 
with our tickle system, just sound into system, it. animation that, system. That's like the level I wish to achieve. We are completely new scripting, uh, AI, navigation, the networking code has been heavily modified. So it was quite a lot of stuff. Some of the new features. I, you know what? I kind of, I kind of do miss properly. videos like this. So we it's all well and good. Oh, look at their outro too, eh? Right? Uh, oh man, using spicy outro. So I mean, like literally stuff like this. You know, fast, you'd think so that these were already pre-made assets, so. and they have these probably sitting on a hard drive somewhere. You know. Mm. So this is first part of my Q and A. But yeah, I mean, they, they really should go back. I mean, they still, yeah, they still use it definitely, yeah. I'm not up on this account. I've uh -oh. always, I always loved that outro. I always Plus, loved that. They upload the, uh, they upload the last streams to YouTube itself too. Mm. I just realized they do shorts for their streams. They're they're taking inspiration for us. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's really cool. <laughs> No, but I, hey I, man, I think they they uploaded one a few weeks after we uploaded our first one, so I don't I don't know, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> hey God. Oh. oh man, it's awesome though to see if they're actually doing it though, because it, it be really so goes cool. back to like their old days, you know, when they used to always well, do this. That, well, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, it's all great. It's all well and great that you know they're doing the media side, they're doing the streaming, which is great, getting people on. But they really should they really should start to do like the Especially with after one nineteen hits, they should definitely start to do like the videos with like some of the some of the developers that you know the the biggest stuff that they worked on. You know, I think Bohemia really, does that really though. Cool. Bo yeah, Bohemia know, actually but... work does their interviews with like um, even the person you know the person that does the um, most of the streams. <clears throat> I think they did one with him recently, but I think Bohemia mainly does that with their developers. If I can find yeah. one, I can probably send it over. Yeah, no problem at all. Dinner with Dharma says, Don't hold me to this 100%, but a while back I did hear a bit of juicy inside info. A guy told me that 119 is bringing potato guns. Not even trolling, guys. Farming your own ammo will be weird. You know what? If they did actually add potato guns, I was I, I, I would fucking cry with laughter. I would, I would cry with laughter. I think it would be so funny as like a... <laughs> is a gun just dedicated to like... <laughs> to just knock people out with potato launcher. <laughs> eh, God. Or, or like those kind of guns where you, you like, you take a chunk out of a pota potato and then you'd shoot somebody with it. <laughs> oh my God, that'd be so sick. That'd be so funny. It'll, it'll not get added. It'll, it'll not get added, but I think that'd be so funny. I'd be like a thousand shock damage just to That'd be funny. <laughs> you just get bonked on the head. Yeah, you'll never wake up, mate. <laughs> just respawn. Found the link. <laughs> right. Ah, uh. uh, yes. They gotta do stuff like this for Daisy, though, you know? 100%. I'm Mackie, and in the past. They do say he's a brand manager for Daisy, so. Interactive. Mm. I started yeah. The uh, Imagine if he was the one that made that video. Game tester, and then I moved to <laughs> and now I'm a brand manager. That's really hard to summarize, but it's actually overlooking all our marketing efforts relating. To but yeah, I mean, I've re I've always been a fan of like Daisy Media, fan made or officially made. It's really awesome, really really awesome to see, really cool to see. Don't worry, buddy. I didn't want to show the full thing anyway. It's fine, but um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, I I would love if somebody did come along on like the amateur side, to to make a series or to make like a big one-off long episode. But I think most of all, I would love Mister Utah to come back to make a special one, like a one-off. And if you need a funder for it, I'd be more than happy to pitch in quite a bit, more than happy. More than happy to do that. Hundred percent. What? Because it's it's ultimately stuff like that is keeping the community going, right? It's one part of it, yeah. I would say it's definitely one part of it that's keeping it going. Um, especially these days, you know. Daisy's definitely come a long way, not just in the game side, but also the marketing and media side. Um. 
I really do hope that Scotty does what he done last year with the teasers beforehand. Um, I'd love to get him and Sumrak on in the future. I absolutely love to, mm-hmm. but we'll just have to wait and see. Which uh, brings up an interesting point. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen any teasers about 1.19, so we I haven't. don't think it's coming anytime soon. Oh, no, don't ruin it, don't... <laughs> don't or they're doing it purposely. Or they're doing it purposely, and they're just gonna do like a big, like big, big teaser, and they'll be like, "Oh, we know you guys have been waiting, so enjoy this giant chunk of content." Five minutes after the podcast ends, they're like, "Boom!" You yep. know what? They they actually done that a fair few weeks ago with the community spotlight. What was it? And it was like the next day later, and the, they dropped it, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, there we go." But um, but uh, yeah, I mean, on top of that, when, when because, like I said, we talked about it before, when we think 119's coming out. And, you know, some stuff has been going on, being updated and whatnot. So I'm actually going to just quickly go on SteamDB. Uh, somebody pointed this out to me quite some time ago about how, like, they've been checking updates and whatnot. So, obviously, constantly working. Constantly working on the game. As you can see, in, you, as you can see here, you know, the vehicle sim... Vehicle Sim branch, that was two months ago, but obviously they must have done some old stuff onto that. Um, but they're constantly updating it. Test 2, 7 days, 22, 13 hours, and then 5 hours. Obviously, I'd imagine it goes in, like, from internal debug, then play test, then test, then test 2. And they're testing all the time. And I wish, I, I wish there was a way where I could actually check to see how often it updates. Um, I, I used to do this kind of stuff with another game that I was hoping to come out and ramping up and whatnot, but they're constantly updating it. Which, I mean, it might not mean anything to me. Or to, to anyone, I should say. But, but yeah, I mean, what, 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 do, you, what do you guys think? I mean, I mean, I know you just said you don't think it's coming anytime soon, which... You know, sacrilege, but <laughs> uh, it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's coming out now. <laughs> but no, uh, it's interesting that uh, that website shows them doing updates because, mm. in theory, coming from the modder's perspective, I would never be posting my updates to a platform where people can check it. Mm-hmm. Like, I would always be doing it internally, fully internally, until I'm ready to actually push it for public testing. So I, I'm, it, it's interesting that that is showing updates because are they really pushing it to a private public Steam area, a private Steam area, or is it just pulling from a GitHub saying that this will eventually come to the Steam experimental servers? Mm-hmm. It's like, that's an interesting question because... Uh, Lemons here sent me a screenshot of someone saying that the Survivor Games is being updated too, but I was telling him it's that not. I think it's just it's just pulling the information going, hey, this game's being updated, so all the DLCs w- along with it are being updated too or something. It's, I don't know. It's exactly that, because if you actually go on to the Survivor, the Survivor Games E um, part in SteamDB, last update three years ago. So... Yeah, it's not getting up there. So anybody who's hopeful for that, Boydie, is uh, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening at all. Yeah. It's not happening yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one one large reason, and again, I'm just using all connections here, that I think one nineteen is relatively close at the very least, is because, um. When Somrak made Namalsk <clears throat> and uploaded the workshop and brought it to standalone, there's obviously there's a crucial crucial feature that Daisy has, and that is the temperature with like the clothing, and whatnot, like best insulation, stuff like that. So he brought Namalsk out. I think it was shortly before or after that, or he waited for a Namalsk update. <clears throat> for that feature to come in. I can't exactly remember. So it would seem really interesting to me that <clears throat> he's gone through this entire time this year <clears throat> working on Phoenix, update Phoenix, right? 
the last content update. And he is doing a weekly Thursday thing for for the, the documents. And once the fifth document is out, we'll then see what happens with content update number three. I think at least on the day or shortly after, we'll get major news on 119 coming out. Maybe an experimental announcement, maybe teaser stuff, I don't know. But even when when uh, some were initially done like the documents thing, when he teased Namask first off before he uploaded it, there was a little bit of time between the last document found and when the map came out. So maybe he's doing that again. Maybe he's doing that for 119. Maybe there's something coming in 119 is going to be crucial for Namask. I could be grasping at straws. I don't know. I'm just a passionate guy when it comes to this game. But I don't know. I, I could be talking out my ass. But what, what, what do you two think? Am I talking about out of my ass? Please don't say yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, I'm joking. What do you think, though, Grow? Uh, I'm actually going to say I think Lad is blowing smoke. I do apologize, yeah. buddy. No, I think <laughs> I think that it would be, for lack of a better word, I would be very disappointed if Sumrak was using his information in the dev team to help his mod mm. be better. I mean, I, I don't know. No, no, no shade at Sumrak. I'm just saying, like, if you're waiting to push your mod update because Daisy is going to be putting it out, that's information none of us el- none, none, none of us all, all else have. And yeah. it not necessarily unfair. It just seems like it could have been a situation where maybe a week or two after, I think a week or two after, a Namask would drop an update because I think that would be the most fair. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I agree. But yeah. So that's why uh, that's why I think you're blowing smoke is because I don't think Sumrak would do that to us. So I don't think, I think he that, would, no. Yeah, so I don't think that that's a good speculation, in my opinion. Um, I think they heard me say October, and they're holding me to it. <laughs> I mean, I'll, 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 say right, smoke. I'll say right now we're at the end of August, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I said around August or September. I'm not too sure. Oh, what was that? We got we got a notification. Doctor Scandalous, thank you very much for subscribing. Really, really do appreciate it. Much love to you, my dude. Thank you. But I mean, I'll have to go. Like October. Uh, no, it's not going to be October. No, it's going to be too long. <laughs> well, let's 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 put it this way: even if they put out experimental on September first. Experimental usually stays in um, experimental for at least two weeks. Two, two, three longer. weeks. Yeah. So I'm going to be almost on the dot if that's what happens. All right. I like to make an <laughs> amendment to something we said like quite some time ago. When do we think experimental is going to get announced? Hey, man, if you think about it, they could still release it in September. You know, or and just have, or like even, even you know, late October, but they could just have experimental for like a whole fucking month. There you, go. <laughs> you, you know what it is? Right. I actually wouldn't mind that. You know, an experimental the entirety of September. No. I would not mind that whatsoever. Hello, leave uh, it in the oven and let us taste the cookie mix. You know, let us get a little mm. taste of it, but keep it in the oven. I want that cookie. Yeah. <sighs> exactly. Maybe we can have uh, great people like. Uh... Uh, lemons here who can suggest fixes to uh, some of the updates like you did in 1.18. Remember that? Mm. Yeah, you, you actually fix done the damn Sarka. I'm gonna <laughs> shoot. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send them back to the coast pretty soon, man. I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> I'll, to that I'll point. I'll defend you on that. I'll defend you on that. I've been watching some of the Greedy Peasants videos and what's up with that, Daisy? Why is there a big red line for the steering wheel, the Sarka and stuff? Hold yes. on. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a tangent. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send oh, some pictures no. No. in the chat. Yep, down. it's happening. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've done it now. You've done it too now. Don't cry. Oh, bless. <laughs> this is just, oh. It's extra content. You know, we're, we're, this, is our, this is my filler, but holy shit, I'm going to lose it if the, one more update goes by and they haven't fixed it. <laughs> I, I am happy, though, because the last feedback tracker, they did actually address it. I've posted a feedback tracker every damn update. And this is the first one they've actually addressed and said, oh, it'll be fixed in another update. And they, and I thought, okay, they're going to fix it in 1.18. 
nothing. Okay, nothing. And it's they said it's going to be addressed eventually. So, <laughs> please, for the love of all that's holy, please, I'm begging at this point. It's just like, why? Nah. It shouldn't even be like that. And nah. it's not even that alone. They they fixed the C-130 texture mix at Missalama before they fixed the Sarka. Like, <laughs> why? Cool pussy. You don't, you don't drive the C-130s? <laughs> no, with that attitude. <laughs> Well, that's true, but at this point, maybe it's just a running gag in the in the the dev team. Hey guys, you're gonna fix the Sarka? Ha, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <God>. oh. <clears throat> yeah, I feel I feel so I feel sorry for that that poor Sarka. The Sarka, I quite, I, I nah, saw the Sarka. I like the Gunter more. It's much, a much better car, much more faster. But I mean, <clears throat> the, I don't believe there has been. When it comes to one nineteen, it is just purely speculation at this point. You know they've, you know they've pretty much said a couple of things here and there, very small little teasers, hints, what they're doing. Um, like in one of the most recent streams that Daisy's done, they said um, that they've been doing some tests and some very interesting weapons. They left it at that. They didn't say anything more, and it was just like, ooh, I wonder what they're working on. So maybe it could be the potato gun. So you never know. <laughs> Oh, okay, no. <laughs> oh man, I would, I would actually laugh if it turns out that. <laughs> turns right. out I just sent you a picture, right lad. That's what the Sark is supposed to look like, right? And I, I, I went full, yeah. full out. We're still, we're still going about this, right? And this is, this is what it looks like in console. I recreate the exact same picture. This is what it looks like in console. <laughs> depression. <laughs> Severe <laughs> depression. Okay. How do you accomplish this? I, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, at least the dials look good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and the dials on the car look too good too. I like I like being able to use like the speedometer on the steering wheel as well. Check my you speed. Know what this reminds me of Lemons. <laughs> you ever see what? those like you know those like insider videos of like you know car companies when they're developing their cars? This looks like one of the dummy cars you crash into a wall or something. Yep, yep. And they have like the crash test dummy inside of it. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell yes. So, uh, <clears throat> throw me in there at that point. Oh my god. <laughs> Omni and Vastum, <laughs> thank you very much. I really do appreciate the love and support there. Thank you. But um, no, I'm, I think my favorite my favorite vehicle is definitely the Gunter. But I don't know how the hell they've they've messed up that bad with with the Sarka. There's like how. And it's it's interesting too because it's a few things. It's not even that. Even some of the um the slum buildings from Livonia. Yeah, the textures are t just totally misaligned. Yeah, totally, I'm, totally. And I'm, I'm, a different render in Xbox or well, console in general, in general, or something like that. I, it wouldn't no, even it shows... matter. I don't no, think. It, it actually would. Think about it. If they decimated the model a little bit, so it's a little bit better performing on the Xboxes and stuff, less vertices, less spaces. Oh. It could be a bad uh, texture placement because the <clears throat> UV has changed. There you go. That is actually pretty fair yeah no that would definitely explain it that would actually definitely explain it which would explain our confirmation that the console daisy although in its content and other aspects is similar a lot of it's its very stuff different is optimized further to work well on console which yeah. shows it's we, not we, i've even said it before too yeah exactly i've even said it before too with zagoria the stuff i've run on zagoria will run like oh, totally above 60 fps high fps no drops no stutters mm. but when i put that same thing on the pc it drops like i get like 60 fps on the max and then it, it might drop down to like 55 to 60 mm -hmm. and so it shows that they've done a lot more to optimize in that sense but i'm interested to find out what what they've done to optimize it because honestly if you were to play you wouldn't really see it i mean on last gen you would see it but on next gen it's it's hard to notice the difference the, the biggest thing I'd say is texture quality. The texture yeah. quality is a lot lower on the console, but even then, I don't know why. Because on next gen, it shouldn't be. Like, next gen can run 4K 120 in a breeze and a snap, but they're not taking advantage of that on console. Well, and I'm we not all, sure why. We all know, deep down, we all know the reason why. It's because the engine shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. engine couldn't handle a lot of 4K textures. No. In, in fact, true. it's it's funny because it's like 4K is technically supported. Well, no, it is supported. But 
there is little to no reason to use it. Which Aren't is the actually, current textures 2K? Yes. They, well, most yes. of them. Well, quite a number of them are. Hey. There's a majority of them so are 1K. So my question is, though, then why aren't they like that on console then? You know, uh, I, I get last gen, but even next gen though, it's I'm, not like the, you can actually see the pixels on console. Uh, <laughs> so uh, because <laughs> they're not going to take all the time to go through and update all of the textures to a higher resolution for a, a next gen console. Mm. Yeah, but even then just... though, what if it's a quality setting? Because you know we we don't have the video settings like you guys do on PC. So what if they have it hard locked to like low texture quality? It but would be interesting. Is, is, I was gonna say the problem is, is it, they made DayZ for the old gen consoles, and while the new gen consoles are beefier and better, it would mean them going through all of the textures again and giving a, a giving you guys the stuff. Because again, we just talked about the models may be uh, reduced vertice count, which means all the UVs were, so they would have to redo all of the textures to a larger resolution. It's easy to go down, but it's not easy to go back up. Yeah. Go back up, yeah. And we've seen before with console edition or even in general, when they try to quickly get stuff together, it doesn't go too well. As we've seen with the static objects, when they tried to use a, a an automated solution for that. <laughs> I actually, I actually yeah. really hope that they've gone gone back and worked on that because they, they did say they did say that they were going to be working on the the static object stuff. Um, oh, they did. I, yeah. I spoke with um I spoke with Adam regarding that. And they definitely went back and fixed a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And even even I submitted a ton of stuff, fixing most of the errors in there. Yeah. Which yeah. there were a lot. <laughs> I think much. I think I fixed about <laughs> um, a few hundred syntax errors, if not more. <laughs> no. Maybe <laughs> like two hundred. <clears throat> but. Very nice. But that's the thing too, you know. I didn't do it for credit. I didn't do it to be some big person saying, oh, look at me, I did this. I did it to fix the game because I want my fucking objects to spawn in when I try to load them in on console. <laughs> <laughs> God, you, you're so selfish. God, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's horrible. I'm trying to, like trying to fix the issues for myself. <laughs> you like that 90s feature where we rewind? I went in through it. Went, um, be like, a little bit. I went through and fixed uh, uh, more than 100 semicolon errors. I'm not doing this because I want credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey god hey god <laughs> jesus christ but yeah i mean i'm again, just glad they fixed it man i was getting i was getting close to like just folding like i was i was not impressed and i guess it was a good learning experience too for them not to do that in the future it was a new <laughs> thing they tried it out and frankly it did not do a good job you know and i honestly just taking like a few extra weeks even just to do it themselves probably wouldn't have done so much. It would have made mm -hmm. such a difference. They wouldn't have to spend more time fixing that in the end. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean. That's my little banter. <laughs> little bit of banter. <laughs> a little bit of banter. A little bit yeah. of banter, little way. No, but uh I mean, we're, we're, I've said it before, but I'm I'm still really excited for 119, and we've we've talked about what we want added before. But what I'm just trying to think, like, what's the number one for both of you guys? Just what's the number one now? You've had time to think about it. Server, it doesn't even have to be a feature, like it just anything, like modding capabilities, server side stuff. What's the number one for both of you? Realistically, of course, too. You know. Oh well, in that case, fuck. <laughs> Realistic, <sighs> bruh. Don't 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 put us on the spot like that, bro. Go. No, I have ah, to actually use. Oh, they can't add unicorns. Damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, there is one thing in 1.19 that I want, and it has nothing to do with the game itself. It has to do with the outside the game. Daisy, please, for the love of God, give people documentation about in-game mechanics and modding capabilities. We've been modding the game for well over three years now. It's finally time we had official wikis about how to do the modding that aren't from Arma, because we have new modders coming into the game that don't know what they're doing, and so many of our old modders are no longer around. 
please. I was one of those people. Help keep this game going. <laughs> I was one of those new people not knowing what the hell was going on. <laughs> but no, you know, it, 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 literally, it literally sounds like I'm, you know, being all whatever. I'm being serious though. No, yeah. Documentation exactly. is the biggest thing we've always been missing, and with the game being with modding being around for so long for Daisy, it would be paramount to have it for Daisy to keep continue to go. Because again, I mean, they do have documentation, but it's only for like. It's, the configurable stuff you know and it's very even then it's very scarce mm. and it leaves the player very to scarce. kind of think and kind of put it together on their own and piece together but i think one of the biggest things that they need too is mapping documentation because even like there's there's none there's none well, for mine. like any sort of mapping document yeah exactly yeah so but the documentation needs to be done i know there are several communities out there who are doing fabulous work with it but we need mm. official stuff this is a yeah. very important to me because we don't want Daisy to. If you don't want Daisy to die, then keep supporting people learning how to use and manipulate the game. As we said, as an endless canvas. Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, you, know, you, you know what? Yeah, no, you, you are right. That's <clears throat> that's that's the one thing that it, I would imagine. Well, obviously, it does. It still affects modders even to this day because there's stuff that we want to do, stuff we want to try and understand. But you. You can't. You you can't because you have to. You have to do a lot of trials and trial and error to figure out what something does, how it works. <clears throat> I yeah, mean, personally, when when there's it's... one that I can say that for for you, lad, that just happened. LODs, distance rendering LODs. How hmm. do they fully work? We don't truly understand them, and we've been modding, lad, for twelve two plus years, hmm. and we still don't have a hundred percent understanding of them. I mean. <clears throat> I, I, well, that's it. We don't have a proper understanding, but we have well, at least um, we, have, we do have run a theory, and it is based on like screen space. Like that. That's that's it. Because obviously, the smaller objects, they'll they'll reduce their LODs lower, like the quicker. Whereas the much larger objects, it takes a lot more time for them to 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 go to swap to <clears throat> the other LODs, which is fair. You know, it is what it is. What it is. I do actually agree with you. The documentation. There is a lot of stuff that people want to work on. And it's all well and good that the community comes together to create their own like documentation, their own websites, their own services where you can find all this information. But there's stuff that nobody delves in, like light l lighting config, for example, something I've been working on. The van the bog standard documentation doesn't go into detail about what does what. It's just got like a very brief description, and you kind of have to figure it out from there. And it's a lot of trial and error, and it's like, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit, bit of a pain in the ass. Worth it, but it's still a bit pain in the ass. And modding is going to be the way forward for the game. I think it has been for like quite some time. But when Daisy finishes development, which we all know is going to happen at some point, it's an unfortunate reality. Modding will continue to keep it going. What about you, Lemons? What's kind of like your number one thing since you asked the question and then I'll, I'll let you know my number one thing. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing, I think everyone on console can agree with this. We need more freedom with the stuff we can do. And I know a lot of that's limited by what uh, Microsoft says, mm. but giving us access to an NITC or at least giving us the option to be able to apply for access for the NITC through Nitrato or it's whatever the, the um, um, our server house is going to be two, three years in the down, in the, down the road, you know. I think we just need more freedom because we're being restrained right now. And I know for, for some things, it's they're they're doing it for a proper reason. But mm. honestly, though, with the init C, we've talked about the, the, being able to backdoor and being able to do harm and stuff like that. But if they were to add some sort of, I mean, crap, even even Xbox itself is every game works inside of a stand uh, like a VM sandbox. No, the no thing can actually access the integral files of the game. Mm -hmm. Everything works in a virtual machine. So, why don't they just release it? You know, because even if we were to try and do stuff, we wouldn't be able to get anywhere because it's in a sandbox. You know, yeah. we can't get out. You know, we can't do anything. And even I've seen people that have started to write JSON for Daisy on console just to test it out and see if it works. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten that bad where people have started writing their own JSON to try and like get their own way through or make their own way through and try and do that. So like if they're doing that already, you know, why don't they just give that to us? Because honestly, 
what's the most that's going to do negatively? <clears throat> Do you have any input on that, Dumpgra? Well, don't you guys have problems with hackers already in the DayZ console community a little bit? Nope. Don't those already exist? Nope. Mm. The only issue we have is uh, hardware, where people use the uh, Kronos to put their controller into to, to, to negate like recoil and stuff. We don't have any any hacks right now on console. Yeah. Okay. And that's why I people know, play. That's like, why people uh, always say the official on Xbox is always the better option because there's not a single hacker on it. But community-wise, is it possible? There's only exploits that are abused. There's never hacking, but there's only actual in-game exploits In, yeah. that can be abused. Exactly, yeah. as Omni right, well, just uh, said, swimming under the map. That is that is well, the biggest thing that, console needs to focus on. Sorry, go on, Tom. That does help with my uh, you know, feedback. I think you're right. I think more control would be good. However, I think that part of the reason why you don't have some of these issues is because of these um, safeguards. Now, I think you guys should get access to the NA.C to a point. The NA.C has plenty of things inside of it that you guys can actually manipulate and use without it actually affecting the core game itself or how the game is ran. Mm -hmm. So I think that would yeah. be really cool for you guys to get. Um, but I think for security purposes, even if it's ran in a sandbox, a sandbox can still leak. So yeah, that's, that's true. We consider it that's, that's very true. And even then, they should just follow what they were saying they were going to do and create more Jasons for us to work with, you know? Exactly. Because there's a lot of stuff that are in the Jason that was originally done just by using the init C, right? So, mm -hmm. why don't they just continue that? I know some rack in the past, way. Adam has said that. They've said that they've said they want to expand it and add a Jason for us to um, control what players spawn with. Whatever happened with that? It was said in a stream a long time ago and we we never really got updates on it, you know. I think a transparency is a big thing across both PC and console. There's been a lot of stuff that's been said, mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff that just hasn't been followed up. And I think it would just at least be appreciated if they were able to tie up some loose ends for us. Yeah, I mean, even if they honestly, for the lack of a better word, did a pure console update where it was literally introducing just a ton of JSONs for you guys to manipulate and use. I'd be totally down for that. I would. I'd be happy to let PC have a backseat because it'd still benefit PC too. I mean, how yeah, many server for the newer players, you know, who don't know how to mod, who, who could benefit from that on PC and console? Hundred percent, because it's just it's a much more streamlined approach to making a server than it would be in the init C. You know, I know, I know it's it's hard to say that to the people who have already done it, but you can't tell me that when you first started running a server, it was pretty difficult. You know. Sure, now you can just jump into the NC and be like, oh, I know how to do this, I know how to do that, you know, but like, when you first started out, everything was pretty difficult, and I think that it would be a lot more streamlined to have these JSON files, because they're much easier to play around with. Mm -hmm. But, I think they're more easy, but more restrained in that sense, because with the NC, you can do a lot more of your own stuff to play around once you fully have mastered it. You can do a lot of your own kind of stuff and putting your own stuff in there but with the JSON it's very hard limited and you can't add your own code or anything in that sense yeah so I think it's good for beginners but for those who want to get out of their comfort zone and actually try to add their own features it could be a bit difficult but even then on console we have our limitations and we've worked around them already you know mm -hmm. so just giving us more stuff like that I think would just be amazing I think anyone in the chat could probably agree with that yeah yeah absolutely but I think the big issue too is it brings up a lot of pros and cons because what everyone said is that if they were to release player customization or like spawn customization like they have in the NHC, it would ultimately kill off a lot of the hardcore survival servers. You know, I mean, they already get a hard time on console because a lot of people on there are trying to get more of a arcade experience. Mm -hmm. So if they were to do that, every server, you know, already we have servers with like infinite stamina. And the the traders that have all those items that spawn, they can just pick up that we've seen we've seen in the past on the podcast. Just think if you could do it now, where they could have every player spawn with a kit, spawn with like M4s on their backs and LERs and plate carriers and all that stuff. You know, it would kill anyone wanting to play on hardcore servers. Ultimately, nice. No, well, true, true. So, it's I think that's the big issue, and I think that may be why they've held off because it can do a lot of good. But ultimately, it can do a lot of bad for servers too. Because when you get mm -hmm. that freedom, people yeah. can abuse that, you know? Because 
even even Armor of Forger when modding first came out, everyone was doing like silly mods, you know, and yeah. like the, the like the Nissan GTR and like just crazy weird stuff, you know. And it's it would be the exact same thing on console. Before the good came out, there would be a lot of bad and weird and random. <laughs> mm. But I guess you could say that across both plat both platforms too, you know. People oh, would just absolutely. like to it. It's just a matter of playing with it, you know. Yeah. I mean, crap. Even when the effect area first came out, people were doing crazy stuff and just like messing around, having a good time, and making like uh, airdrops that had smoke coming from it. <laughs> yes. And I mean, look now what I'm doing. You know, I'm I'm making quote unquote volumetric clouds with it. So, wow. it shows that it can be used for a lot of iffy stuff and a lot things. of good stuff too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. And that's the uh, that's that's the thing. Regardless of it, if it's good or bad. It's still an interesting thing. It shows that people care enough to do it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's definitely. it. Yeah. Why? What exactly. about you? Um, well, before before I um before I go on to mine, I want to thank Jacob for the six dollars and sixty six cents. That typical da donation. Thank you, you satanic boy. Much appreciated. Thank you. For for me, I want them to fix quite a number of issues. One of them, as was said before is the swimming under the map. We've talked about how they could implement some type of fix or, you know, something to kind of prevent that. We've talked about that in the past. Um, <clears throat> there's obviously the typical infected fixes. There are stuff that needs to be touched on with that, especially in the animation side and whatnot. In the syncing issues, definitely needs to be sorted out. Um, the more critical bugs, I think, that needs to be addressed is... Relatively to do with the networking. Um, <clears throat> I think, especially with like the ADS bug, where you're trying to pull up your gun and you just, nothing happens, right? You, you just kind of like walk on the spot. I've had that quite a few times. It's been playing a lot of um, like the deathmatch servers lately, just to kind of like kill time. Um, yeah. And running that issue all the time. <laughs> Which honestly, I yeah. think it's... I, honestly, I think it's got something to do with like the information that's been sent to the server is getting missed because of like a tick rate or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just getting missed in between. Maybe. Um. <clears throat> if you don't mind here, lad, there are a few questions in chat that I would like to answer because they are ones that I think would need to be cleared up a bit. Um, Go for it. Scale Speeder was saying that um, we have to give them time because there's not that many people. And although we do need to give them time. I don't think that's true in the sense that there aren't that many people working on the team. There's a ton of people now. Yeah. Maybe if you said that three years ago, yes. I'd believe that. But not there's at least, there's so many people working on it, you know, that have been moved across different titles across Bohemian. It's, they've, they have an active studio working on it now, you know? So I think it's, it's, hard, it's, it's hard to say that. Like, like, like I said, literally, just if you said that three years ago, I'd believe you. But now they can't really use that excuse. Mm -hmm. You know, but I I do understand giving them time because I I don't want them to release something that's half baked, not no, at all. No, yeah, but still, you know, they do need to address these things eventually. And also to answer your question, Boydie, they already do have stuff like that because Boydie and Chad said, okay, or, okay, crazy talk here. They have this stupidly exclusively to Nitrado, but why not make it so that Nitrado has um, to create an interface to allow people to play with some of the options they need to see. Now, Nitrato's already done that. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of things that are both in Nit the initc and the server.dz file that can be um, edited through an interface in Nitrato. Now, sorry, a, a, lot's, um, a lot's choice words. There's a scarce amount of things that can be changed with both of those, but there is already an interface that allows us to change those things. Mm -hmm. So, like here, I can, I can actually probably share my screen and show you a, a rudimentary thing of what Nitrato looks like. Mm-hmm give you guys the inside scoop have you ever have you ever actually seen them like the inner workings of a nitro I've server not, i've not no uh, okay, okay. This, uh... all right is that who i think it is is that actually daisy lurking yes it is all right okay they're gonna drop the teaser guys <laughs> oh here it is <laughs> yep <laughs> See, they're listening you know that's that's the great thing and okay, even no, if they're just lurking you know the, the fact that they is... listen alone is the, just the... it's good to hear you know it is really awesome but the question is who is Red it? Nine. No. Is it Scotty? <laughs> or is it someone else? Well, well seeing as seeing as Scotty game. liked <laughs> um yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say. <laughs> no. Don't, ban them. don't ban them. 
They're gonna, they're gonna get us in... No! <laughs> Riz! <laughs> but, um... Uh, but... Uh, but, yeah, I mean, wh while you're getting... Your yeah, yeah, while you're setting up the nitrile stuff, I want to say, can you ban Tom <laughs> Oh, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. Um, there we go. <laughs> no girl. No girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, much appreciated, ah, Scotty. Coming. Much love. Take, take so, a notes, guys. There Scotty, yep. Scotty, <laughs> Scotty, while you're here, while you're here, Scotty. can I please come Can I please come and visit the, the uh, progress? Can we, can can we do an like, episode over there? Can, can we actually yep. legit do an episode over there sometime? Especially the episode over there. <laughs> yep. We'll do shots out of the buttstock of a red nine. Hell yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> I hope he was here to see, hear my what well, I would love to see. Come on, guys. He said yes. All right, all right. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we later. go. Uh, all right. Okay. Yep. Let's, Bye, guys. Let's let's uh, let's see in the shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we go. This is Nitro. This is the crazy, mind-boggling stuff that we're using, right? So this is uh, this is the Zgoria server, right, on console. We have these basic things here that show like the logs. Uh, if we go here, this is actually pretty useful. Mm -hmm. We have log files that show off the stuff that's put into the text yeah, yeah. logs, but this it makes is... it very, very simple to look at right here. Yes. And this absolutely. is the, this is the brains right here that the um, the kill feed bots use. So what they do is they take your nitrato key, and they're actually able to jump in here and read this stuff and interpret that into whatever it spits out as the kill feed message, mm -hmm. which is very cool. But um, if we go here, this is our stuff here that I was talking about. This is all we have access to. So in the settings, we have the mission, yeah, which we only have two. We can't even change that. <laughs> <laughs> the host name, the password, and then we can change stuff like the server multiplier, custom time, and then we have all this jazz here. Yes, yeah. Like yeah. the like the logs and XMLs and mm -hmm. and even this is pretty rudimentary. But the, all of this, this is all we have. Just the we, definitely needs to be stuff. Yeah. There definitely needs to be more expansion. There definitely needs to be more stuff, kind of like fleshed out and whatnot. You know, maybe there can be some discussion internally. Maybe, maybe yeah. they could do something with the community, perhaps, to to get a good idea what else they could feasibly use from the init.c to implement stuff uh, like oh, this 100%. for JSONs, especially for console. For PC, definitely there could be more stuff out of there. Um, but going to what I was and I talking think even... about. Even having a talk like this too will just open their eyes because they're just—it's just showing them, you know, what we're saying because mm -hmm. they might not even know. They might not understand the stuff we're saying, and ultimately, having the chance just to tell them mm -hmm. can do a lot of things, you know. Yeah. And it's so, always—I always—I always say too, you have to make sure you're saying it the right way because we there's a there's a big uh, stigma with the console community, and they don't always say the nicest things, mm, you know. And I'm, I'm guessing if you've ever looked in the Twitter. He's been comment silenced. section on any other update go. posts there's been a few people saying choice words yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so i think 100 percent. you know just as if you get around if you get across the right message and you're you just explain to them honestly what you what you want and what's going what's going on you know i think mm -hmm. it really does a lot it really does and even using the feedback tracker too i know it's cliche and i know it's generic always saying that but honestly use the feedback tracker because that's they there are people to check that you know yeah absolutely <laughs> honestly so so, going, going back to what I was saying, on top of that, because there definitely needs to be some more stuff fleshed out to make running servers more interesting and more, you know, useful. Um, there needs to be more stuff added, especially on the console side. I'm just, I'm just trying to think because obviously, you know, as I said before, there's the infected issues that's been prevalent for quite some time that needs to be fixed. I'm not going to be talking about cars because. At this point, it's redundant with the vehicle physics coming soon in either 119 or 120. We'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, we can say, oh yeah, fix cars all we want, but it's not going to do shit because they're actually trying right now. So, um, I don't know. I really don't we're know. We're talking about syncing issues. Yeah, well, we're talking about that. The network side of it really definitely needs to get some love. Definitely needs to get a bit touched up a bit. Um, <clears throat> I think <laughs> Daisy Netcode. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> that's all you need to say. Just period. Daisy, just, Daisy Netcode. Period. Just, yep. just that's it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. I mean, it does. It does definitely need a bit of love. It's. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know how you put it halfway home. Did. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean obviously like I said before with one and team really excited but I think the biggest changes I would like them to see is more customizability definitely um, for your characters and but with the modding the what you said you know before with the the documentation definitely needs to be more fleshed out but I, th I think it's definitely time that the team or whoever starts to figure out a way where the animation system can be brought in. Uh, yeah, everybody's putting the thumbs up for Fix the Infected, so there you go. But see, it's, but see even like Fix the Infected is like a broad term, so obviously got to be a bit more specific. Well, what, what about the Infected, you know? You have, to, you have to elaborate, yeah. you know, because there's so many things about the Infected that could be fixed or modified, you know, but... I'd say at the what would out of anything on the infected or anything with the infected, what would be the biggest things that you guys would want to see addressed? I mean, whether it be animations like just... or state machines for the animations or even just like the the AI. What's the biggest I mean, things for you two? So it, it's just kind of like what I was saying before with the animations and the syncing issues. Um, <laughs> I'll see if the town tell what works with the infected. They make noise. They hit you. There you go. Um, I, 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 as Ray said, I would like to see them bring back the ragdolls. I think there should be some kind of and animation And we talked system. about that before, too. Yeah. If yeah, they're able so... to port back vehicle physics, I'd imagine they'd be able to port back some rudimentary form of the Armor of Forger client-side ragdoll physics, physics as well. 100%. As long, as long as the network, like, code for it, is also up to standards. So because that was that was kind of like one of the main issues with ragdolls, volumetric clouds, and stuff like that, is that it couldn't sync up correctly between client and client and server and whatever else so improving one section of that could therefore improve the other which is then like a just a rolling ball of improvements or whatever else um but it's it's actually funny actually you say that so i've been playing on the server recently which has had like a form of lever crafting and i've i've never done it before even in alpha i wasn't that much of a fan but the lever crafting even in this particular server was actually really great I really enjoyed it. It's lever crafting, fully flashed out to create really awesome gear that really help your character. I hope you bring it back. I really, really do, do hope that you bring it back, but you bring it back with justice. You can't just have it one to one what it was before. It needs to be better. That's 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 my opinion. Because I know, Dump, you've made a lever crafting, um, well, I, 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 I know how much time you spent on that mod <laughs> and it's great it's absolutely great um, but yeah I mean that's but uh, it's I mean that, that is that is a fair that is a fair thing with the, with the clipping the, cl the clipping through the walls has always been a bit of an issue um, but yeah yeah it's uh, one thing I like to see too is I'd like to see a team like expansion come together, but I don't want new stuff to come in necessarily. I just want them to finish the stuff that Dean Hopper in the roadmap, you know, mm. and just have that as a baseline thing. Because I know expansion has done some of that thing with like vehicles, of course, and stuff like that, but they, of course, have added their own touch and their own flair and their own inspiration to it. I would love to see a team just come together and just do everything that was supposed to be added, you know, add the radios, add the cassettes, you know, add all that kind of stuff and have it in one pack, you know. I think mm -hmm. something like that would be amazing, and it would be it would allow us to see what Daisy would have been, you know, or what what still could be, what it still could be. So, yeah, it'd be very interesting. It would be pretty interesting, to be fair. It would really be, really, really be interesting. Um, but I mean, th I mean, there's obviously so many stuff that I would love to see changed or added or fixed or whatever. But I just can't think yeah, of anything Archie. right now. Dean, who? <laughs> but how many years has it been since you've been on the team now? Eight. Oh my seven lord! Years, I think. When did you leave? I can't. I, you know what? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I don't even think I had the game at that time. I think when I had the game, Brian Hicks was the lead honcho. He, he was. He was absolutely fantastic. He's such a lovely bloke as well. 20, uh, 2014. Yeah, so... Oh, fucking hell, that was a good guess. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah, I'll be, I'll be happy with that. 
I'll be very, very happy with that. But I mean, 119 is definitely going to be a great update. Obviously, I do. I, I would honestly expect not all the issues that people have been talking about and crying out about um, will be addressed. It, it will be a shame, but obviously. The game is definitely improving. It's getting better over time, and it's becoming into a nice, nice fleshed out product, a nice fleshed out <laughs> game, and it's getting there, and it's really, really getting there, and I'm, and I'm happy with that, and I'm like, you know, yeah. and especially lately, like the the team, they've been so attentive with with stuff, but obviously, um, there are some dire issues that need to be addressed that need to be fixed especially on, especially on the console side um, but yeah definitely like I said before the, the swimming under the map that needs to be sorted out desperately <laughs> like I don't play console and I feel sorry for for people who build the bases there uh, but yeah. we could literally talk all goddamn night about what can be fixed, what can be added, and everything like that, and it's just oh my god, it's a never-ending conversation, never-ending conversation. But it's like, yeah, damn. Okay. True. So we're gonna yeah. be doing that. <laughs> uh, but on a uh, completely separate note, and everything else, folks, if you're watching the live stream, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It helps people see our live stream, come in, and enjoy this beautiful conversation we're having. Absolutely. And it makes Lad very happy, you know. You want to you want to see uh, how happy it makes Lad? That happy. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, folks, I don't care who you are or whatever. <laughs> I want you to start parading Project Lemons. We were supposed to see his face in episode one ten. Sure. You are. Seen You're it. seeing it right now. You're, you're seeing no, it right now. That's Lad's face. That's Lad's face. Hold on. Hold on. You you want to see? You want to see mine? There. <laughs> That's a that is, so, that is cursed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm wiping the windows again. <laughs> eh, so uh, for, a bit, for a bit of context, guys, why I have that on my... <laughs> my <laughs> yeah, why why do you have that? Just to be like, it's ready. Yeah, yeah so, so a bit of context, guys. Back, back when I started playing uh, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 again, they they made it the release mod for it, but they they have an option where you can import faces, and you have to make like this whole thing to import the face textures. So basically, long story short, I turned Lad into a pro skater in Tony Hawk, and <laughs> if I could find the picture, I'll send it. But I it remember was... Lad in in the stream we were talking about. <laughs> oh my god, it was so cursed. <laughs> oh, it was, it was so awesome. Bad. It was awesome, but it was like it took it. It took us a while to register. It was my face where you, he was playing. He was doing all the tricks and that, and I was just sitting here like, hey, yeah, "That's really cool." You're having a conversation, and I was like, "Hang on, that's me." <laughs> <laughs> Riz, you want me to fight you? Stick him up there, old Shani Jim. We, we, we let's be honest though, Boydie. Once we unlock a new emote for YouTube, this needs to be the new emote. <laughs> Just lad champ. Let's put some lad champ in the chat. Lad, lad champ. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. No. No. There we go. Lad, put, throw some lad champs in chat. Right. Oh my 100%. fucking god. 100%. Uh, <laughs> now that's what I call a right. lad champ moment. P yeah. Put him in there, there champ. Come on, champ. Lad throw, champ. Throw some lad champs in there. Throw some lad champs in the chat. Come on. Fuck if if you want to see that as an emote, if, if you want to see this beautiful thing as an emote, throw some lad <laughs> champs in the chat. Come on. <laughs> Fucking shit. <showing> that picture. <laughs> Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so with, with lad chump, bruh. Wow. Even Red Falcon had to jump in on that one. <laughs> oh, 
How's it going, buddy? <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, this bloody community. <laughs> Your community, man. Yeah. Oh, I love you guys so much. I love you guys. Yeah, we do need we do need a face cam, but a lemon's face cam. Lad, you want a lemon face cam? Hold on. Don't oh, you hold your horses. Don't you? No, no. It won't, it won't be. It won't be lad. It it's gonna be, be upside down, isn't it? It's gonna be upside down. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that cliche, right? 100. Uh, percent Inverted. <laughs> in, in... <laughs> oh my bloody god! Uh, my fuck. Okay, welcome, I think to, I'm welcome good. to the podcast, folks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, we're not talking about Daisy. We're all just doing lad, lad champs, apparently. Well, a bunch of lad champs. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. One giant eye. One giant eye. I'd take that. <laughs> what? Just every single time, Lemons puts his webcam on, just focuses just on his iris, just like. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Can you change the background? Said white, make it make it look <laughs> like a real background. Yeah, I'll put it in. Uh, put it in Shinaris, you know. This fucking man yeah, is going to go. be the end of me. <laughs> As his chat. Every. Oh my god. Do you, guys, do you guys like this more than the default icon? Is this is this yes. better? <laughs> I do. Just change the background a little bit. We're good. You, yep. You're flash banging me, dude. You're flash banging me right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're hold on. I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something real quick. Oh god. I got you. But as we were saying, uh, yeah, Daisy updates. Very fun. Very good. Let's see more of them. Yeah, we already Glad moved you. on from this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my bloody. Yeah, god. we already moved on from that. What are uh, we moving on to yeah. next? I don't know, man. Um, I lost. I lost track. Everyone was talking you know about what? red nines and lad champs and. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know what we could talk about lad. <clears throat> What? We've been talking about all the fun and all the good stuff the console's done. One thing that I can talk about specifically is my attempt to at make half-assed volumetric clouds. You know what, mate? I, you've been showing us pictures about that. I would love for you to showcase that because any attempt at that is always been very interesting because it's never looked too great. And Dump, yeah. have you actually seen anything? I, I, I'm pretty sure he's been sending you pictures about it, but have you actually seen it in action yet? Yeah, they yeah. see Dump Cross seen the progress. He hasn't seen. I don't think he's seen the video though. Have you seen an actual video of them? Yeah, I believe you showed it to me. Oh, yeah. Sorry, lad. You've just been kind of out of the out of the loop. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and also, thank you so much, uh, Dump Cross, for depicting the thing in uh, that that tweet. I'm so happy what? you were the first person to actually hint at it was it being like a meteorological thing. So thank you very much for that. Wait, I did what? <laughs> I don't in my, in that one tweet. Not... No, no, yeah, in that one tweet. You said it's probably like a meteorological thing. You, you were right. <laughs> huh? Hold on. Let me, get, let me get the tweet at. Yeah, it's, it's, above, it's above your pay grade. I know, I know. Hold on, I got you. Yeah, my bloody chest. Yeah, so uh... My pay grade literally means me having to move your icon over your Discord image so it looks like you can actually see who's talking. Exactly. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> and... uh, Look, all right, on. let me see if I can find this real quick. There it is. Hurry up. It's so slow. Yeah, I know what's fucking wrong with you. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's the no. tweet. No, I'm, I'm angry. I'm fucking upset. Right, let me just get right. that along there. No, that what is the wrong. terrible thing did I say? Oh, sorry. It wasn't you, Goblin. It was, or sorry, it wasn't you, Dump Crow. It was half Goblin. <laughs> what no, the it? frick? Why are people getting me confused nowadays? I got called <laughs> Marks by Boy the other the other day, <laughs> and now you're calling me half a Goblin. <laughs> you got. In my defense, you guys do kind of sound the same sometimes. Okay, don't don't be giving me that back sass. Okay, you guys do kind of sound the same. all the back sass. <laughs> <laughs> So these, yeah. so these he are was, the pictures he, here. He was right. Yeah. It's a very, very, the very interesting, very bright. But yeah, was... that's the one thing. And even, even when I was talking to DOJ about it, he was saying that they're good for what they are. 
you know they're yeah. as good as they could be with the with the stuff i'm using and what's great about these two is they can work on both they ha they can keep parity between both platforms you know yeah. looks the exact same way on console i tested it out not a single performance drop looks the exact same as well mm -hmm. so here let me jump in and i'll give you i'll give you the full full rundown i'm, I'm still wondering what lighting config you're using because that doesn't look like vanilla at all you're never gonna know it's the it's the lemons uh the lemons s lemons s lighting overhaul coming soon maybe maybe not but <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get this up um hmm there it is you got it nice yeah it's gonna get me self into my server Okay. <laughs> Melbourne, right, yeah. thank you very much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, I just want to say as well that we've been around 40 viewers at the moment, and that is absolutely brilliant. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching and listening to us talk about all things DayZ and... And Lad Champ. That's why we got extra viewers. <laughs> They're here for the Lad Champ. Shut, shut up. No, it's not. That's it. No, it's not. But shut up. 100%. And... Josie, don't don't be spoiling it. Don't be taking the magic away. It's definitely not that. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely isn't. But it's that mixed with other stuff too. Okay, mm. is that mixed with other things? Plus, you have to do very specific. You have to put in very specific conditions in the effect area. Okay. Right. You can't just be th you can't just be throwing around that fog and having it work. Okay. Not with that attitude. I, cha I challenge you to try and reproduce. Yeah, not with that attitude, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. <clears throat> so you said this, like, par the, like the, the, the way that it works can be, like, parity between console and PC. Is that right? They're the exact same between Ooh. the two. Oh, I just almost died there between the two consoles yeah or uh, two platforms exact is exactly the same actually nice. do you want to get really high tech here lad i don't know do i because <laughs> what i can do is i can stream my camera and then i can use my obs virtual camera to use my capture card for daisy console edition so you can i can go to both areas on both platforms you can actually see it that's getting that's getting uh, high tech there <laughs> oh, okay it's a bit convoluted, but okay. <laughs> eh, they'll, they'll understand. <laughs> no, oh, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's all right. They'll, 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 they'll get it. You. They'll get it. Yeah. They'll, they'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> See, this is this is like the next gen here on stream, folks. <laughs> <laughs> eh, God. Melbourne is asking, when is yep. Goria coming to PC? Um... Well, with what I'm about to show, I can show you some progress about it. So, mm. I'm not going to say yet, but uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to give a date, just maybe. <laughs> it's just maybe, right, that's got, it. Got both Daisy's booting up right now. This should work the way I want it to. Oh, this totally <laughs> will. We We got this, hold on. Hell yes. And, th and thank you. I, I believe that would have been Boydy with the gift and memberships. Um, unless it was you, Dom. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> so, well, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Really do appreciate it. I uh, hope everybody enjoys their gifted subs. Um, all, the, all the support, you know, if you keep continuing on. All the lad champs. Oh, just stop. Shut the <laughs> I, I swear to god if i come in if i come and stream an episode and all i'm gonna all i see in chat is the lad champ with that face i'm not gonna be happy <laughs> what are you talking about We're you're gonna, gonna love that those volumetric clouds right yeah where, we are. Where, are they? where are they come on don't uh, tease me like that i don't care i don't care about the zagoria thing i'm care about the volumetric clouds show them Give cloud. <laughs> These are you're you're in volumetric cloud. Dang. Thank you. People would love me in Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just be floating around. They'd be like, "Oh my god, it's God!" Right. You're just floating there, like Here we go. hi. <laughs> hey, I'll make editing easier. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, 
damn it. I have to edit again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try that again hold on there we go there you go now we can see i need i need <laughs> oh whoa did he just disconnect <laughs> no oh my god <laughs> you okay, okay. Man? so apparently apparently does not like me using that Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we're not. I guess we're not showing off the console version right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> folks. We're working all good, folks. This is how everything was planned to be, right? Here we go. We're in right. game. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm good. La laps aside, folks. Yeah, laps aside. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna set <clears throat> some conditions up real quick for the best, the optimal, optimal look. No problem. Actually, no, I don't want that. I want to thank, um, I, I want to say, awesome for Red Falcon Mods. He was gifted a membership by uh, by the podcast. Much appreciated. Oh my God. Speaking, but... speaking of Red Falcon Mods, or Red yes. Falcon. <laughs> and I also want to thank. There's helicopter right there. I also want to thank Matt Z for the £10 donation with the message Lemons face reveal next episode. Yeah. Add 990 more to that, and he'll probably do it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, hold on, folks. We are we're navigating right now. We're zooming. We we do be navigating though. It's uh, electro, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <sighs> Bring to snort a console. You know what? It would have been really cool if there was a. Um, there we go. They are indeed clouds. Look, look at them appear as players get into the uh, render distance as well. Oh, uh, yes. Can we see them from the so, ground? Yeah, can we see uh, them from sure. the actual ground? Yeah. So what happens is um, they use a certain uh, type because in the files for the effect areas, there's a ton of different types that they have. And they react differently and they render differently depending on what the environment is and where the players are. Mm-hmm. So the see the contaminated area one's actually the best one for the situation because it's very um, performance good, very optimized. <laughs> yeah, very performance good. Uh, but um, they're optimized very well and they work mm -hmm. well with player proximity. So it's the one I'm currently using. There's a few different ones, and I played with different particles as well. But the the spooky mist that they have around Halloween, in right. combination with a few different other types of um, there's like evaporation particles. Uh -huh. have been doing the best and i mean like just look at that with the um other clouds if i put it to like a clear day it should look pretty good they are pretty bright bright like you're saying but let me turn off my shaders real quick because i this is with three just, shade on i was just about to say so that might be making it look a little uh a little blown out compared to what it would look so this is what oh, it looks like that in vanilla look, that looks better that looks yeah. a lot better yeah Can you give me a favor and turn off the wind i want to see if the particles are affected by the wind too sure Yeah, unfortunately, they're not. They're static. They yeah, are a little bit, but what's cool is, um, I've said this before to some people, but the, when the particles decay, it almost gives off the look of motion, if you kind of see that. Yeah. Yeah, they dissipate. Yeah, yeah they do dissipate, uh, and it gives off some sense of motion, but these are kind of volumetric clouds. I mean, by definition, technically. <laughs> And if we go up, they, they are actually within a 3D space. They're not just, like, skybox or anything. Yeah. But yeah, check that out. There's, uh... Yep. Clouds. <laughs> they do be clouds. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> where, where, where are the clouds at? <laughs> one, and one thing one I day. love about these two... One day we'll get ...is them. the performance on them. They're they're so good for performance. I, I did a uh, stress test and I had about five hundred about the of these. Right. No issues. Particles there may have been a subtle a performance way. loss. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. And they've been optimized so well. I mean, performance doesn't look good too good right now, but that's because I'm running OBS and OBS does not like my mm -hmm. game. Actually, wait, I'm not even using OBS right now. So that's hold on. Was, I was just about to ask, what does it look like <laughs> at night? 
Oh yeah. Nighttime doesn't look too bad actually. Um if we go to So what's cool about the um the the mist and the different these specific particles is they actually reflect um certain lights off them and they'll change color based on the light. Right. So if I go to like a sunset, the clouds themselves will turn pink. It's happened before. If it wants to. <laughs> of course now it is. Oh, I I know the issue. Hold on. So it's, I think it's the over maybe the overcast. There we go. You can kind of see the shade of the light or the, yeah. the actual shade of the cloud kind of changes a bit. And if we go to later to like the night, they do have a little bit of a different color. Or I think <laughs> morning would probably be good if I can actually get like a good time that isn't either dark or light. There we go. You can kind of you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I can, yeah. I can kind of see what you. <clears throat> yeah, what's that's a good example that. actually here. Yeah, and it's just the way they have their particles set up. So very interesting, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And also to answer your question, Melbourne, what I'm on right now is actually the PC Zagoria server. Now it isn't out, but it sure as hell is a server. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly exists, and that's the main yep. thing. <clears throat> and you are Definitely certainly exists, but... dying, my guy. <laughs> I am very much dying, yep. Uh, but... I wanted to ask, uh, left for plasma, I believe. What, what, um, time in the video did you hear them talking about RPGs? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. That'd be quite interesting. Yeah, would be interesting. Could definitely look into that. Definitely. <clears throat> I personally, I don't want RPGs added. No. no, nor do I. But I'm interested to see if they did say it. <laughs> <laughs> Stud Muffin, thank you very much for the hundred. Really appreciate it. Dump Grant, give me knowledge, my almighty god. <clears throat> okay, uh, here's knowledge. You may probably already know this. But where you shoot the deer depends on how much quantity of meat you get from the deer. Not necessarily how many steaks, but the percentage of the steaks that are returned to you in the condition. You shoot a deer too many times with a multiple like 8km, you're going to get badly damaged meat with a lower percentage of meat being returned. But if you do a well-placed shot with a Winchester into the deer and kill it, you get more meat. Oh, there Knowledge. you go, folks. Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's an RG to that, too. No, oh, obviously. Yeah, so, but... so, someone in chat <laughs> wants me to fly a, um, a helicopter into it. Into one of the clouds. So yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> shout out to um, shout out to my homie Red Wing for oh it despawned. That's sad. Well done. <laughs> uh -huh. Somebody doesn't know. This how to just types. yep. <laughs> just to confirm, that's not that's not their mod. That's me having the types set to a not good value, and then it despawned. Okay, that, that I did not set the lifetime value. I think I think it said like three, so I, I, just for testing. But we're gonna do. Here, can you, do you guys want to um, distract chat while I try and assemble no. a helicopter real quick? Oh, no. nice. I could do that really well. <laughs> so, folks, what we see here is we see Lemons horribly navigating the object <laughs> spawn menu. He is looking for a helicopter. As we can see here, he is looking at all of the helicopter wrecks. Oh, he finally spawned one in. Now, will it be fully built or does he have to build it? Let's find <laughs> out. If he says he you know, I have to build it. Oh, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, right, he folks. has to build it. What a pleb. He has to spawn no, a no, no. and all that stuff. What and are you talking about? Build, folks. Will he be able to find the refuel slot? Oh, shit. <laughs> this, is, I, this is like, I feel like this is very, this, this is discrimination. I know I'm talking to your manager. <laughs> you, you brought it upon yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you can speak to my manager. He's right here, lad. <laughs> oh, true that. Right. Uh, let's play oh the uh, let's play the Ken Lemons figure out where to put this stuff in the vehicle. Oh my I can't, god! I love this. I'm not popping up in vicinity either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just great, folks. It's always when the stream starts too that we have we have these amazing uh, technical issues, eh? <laughs> or when we're watching. There we go. Or when we're watching me too. That's a that's a that's another big one. 
Yeah, if only wiring. I could zoom in just for the comedic effect. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we don't. We just need the spark plug now. Okay. See, we're doing this. It's working, folks. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. This does, it definitely isn't day two of me using uh, the, the the flight stuff for the first time. So, I I, I know everything's going on right now. If he knew how, if he, he had set up his JSONs earlier to be able to spawn the vehicles in, it just would have been a one click situation. But oh, oh one click. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Now we need to find where the. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. That yes, was a lot easier than the last one. Discord. Yeah, I'm already. Uh, oh, I'm God. already on it. So fun story time for you guys. When I was testing this out earlier with Dumpcroft, I couldn't find the gas cap on the helicopter. I was running around it for at least ten minutes. <laughs> trying to figure out where to put the gas. <laughs> it's all professional oh, yeah. here, folks. 87 oh, right, gas. It's it stands for professional. All right, ready? <laughs> We're going to lose gas halfway through the flight and crash, but that's part of the plan, right? Uh, while, while you're uh, doing I'm that, I'm just going that. to play the, the clip that Scotty sent over to us. Oh? With the, the RPG comment. Oh, so there actually was an RPG so comment. Yeah, so I'm going to... Yeah, so I'll post it in chat as well, so if anybody wants to refer to the video in the future, they certainly can. One of the things about, you know, if you're a game designer, hmm. is you need to understand... You need to right, have this a much is day two of me flying the these picture. helicopters, so... <laughs> you can't, you know, design... <laughs> I, I, <clears throat> I'll, I'll play the rest of this clip. Uh, something in the ballistics... Uh, but maybe it'll completely imbalance the base <laughs> building, or maybe it'll completely imbalance the central economy if you make this one weapon yeah. more more powerful. Or maybe this weapon's too weak. I'm gonna make it more powerful. Well, great, but uh, now now uh, it's powerful early game, but it's still useless late game. So you have to be yeah. aware of all of these different systems. Yeah, yeah, like the nade launcher, like that was discussed before. We know it can be very strong, but. For example, on the last uh, YouTube video that we have, that you can check out, which are the highlights from the last stream, <coughs> mm -hmm. um, like people were commenting, like, "Hey, can you add like uh, you know a rocket launcher, like the RPG, you know?" Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we are like, "Yes, it would take a lot of time, but we could do yeah. that. But we, you don't want to imbalance the whole game. It's the, yeah. it's kind of the well, same thing it, that yeah. people ask for the you know grenade launchers that you can have on your main weapon, like you know mm -hmm. I don't know." It's similar to the underbell grenade launcher too, eh? Yeah. Like. Oh. Oh god. Yep, and, and and they just got uh, <laughs> they just got they just got rocketed there. <clears throat> Thank you very much for sending us across that uh, clip. I had not seen that before. Much appreciated. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah, so it definitely isn't them com um, saying that it will be added. Okay, that's awesome. Nice. And see, that's that's another good thing too, eh? Just seeing that they're in in the chat showing us and being and showing us like the transparency too you know it's a it's a big thing you know and they've come a long way 100 and honestly, you know you just I th I, honestly, you can't ask I for think, more of it i think game developers and development studios should be in a way more transparent about <clears throat> the difficulties of game development because people some people might expect oh yeah you just it, you just fix it, but no, there's a, there's a large process. There's a lot of thought and a lot of time and effort that needs to go into developing something or changing something or balancing something. They can't just willy nilly do it. So, great respect for showing that off and, and for for Vlad for talking about that as well. Oh, I And also, Matt Z, thank you very much for the one pound ninety nine. Much appreciated. So, I just I'm just waiting for the clouds, mate. I'm just waiting for the. Here it is. The, it's right here. Here it oh, is. That. You see how they kind of, I love the way that they appear too in front of players too. I think that's just amazing. And I'll try and lose a bit of altitude. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, they're not affected. Oh, God. Oh, too much altitude. <laughs> see, if I really wanted too to. Too much altitude. If I <laughs> yeah. If I really wanted to, I could actually make it so when players enter the clouds, they would have an effect happen to them. Mm hmm. So I think it actually might do one if I go into this one, potentially. No, doesn't look it. Oh, a little bit. Mm. I'm trying so hard not to crash. Just I'll be honest <laughs> with you. This, I I have less than 24 hours of experience using these helicopters. 
Oh, bless and you. And honestly, <laughs> just the fact that it's in the air right now is enough for me. Let me try to do a loop to loop real quick. That's not happening. A little oh. self plug for the modder of this mod, though. He has a server set up so people can go and fly oh, any God. helicopter they want to. So, uh, yeah. Make sure if you ever want to train on how to fly these helicopters without easy mode on, go to the server. You can spawn any, any helicopter you want. Thank you Thanks. very much, Stud Muffin, for the 50. Much, much appreciated. Much love to you, my guy. I didn't realize you could damage the back. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> that da that damage right? is actually really cool. I'm just going to cool. take this down real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to land this, and then we can get on to the next topic, right? <laughs> <laughs> just stop the stream. Let's move on. <laughs> Terrible pilot. Oh, bless you. Amazing pilot. <laughs> Amazing pilot. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's a, it's a donation war here. Here we go. Thank you very much for the five pound, Matt. So much appreciated. So yeah, so in the next topic, uh, next topic along something that um quickly saw um it was either today or the yesterday. Um, so they're here. So Ariana, um, she is hosting Queens of the Castle, um, two events. I think it's on the twenty eighth. Um, unfortunately, there's been quite a bit of PC tech issues been going on with the ladies. So, <clears throat> if anybody, I mean, I've retweeted the tweet on Twitter, obviously. Um, so, if, if you know anybody who, who's a lass and they want to get themselves involved, uh, get them to message, um, get them a message, uh, Ariana, get themselves involved. I think it's actually really cool that, despite issues like that happening and people's having to drop out, People still willing to get those spots filled and not just like canceling the event and be like, oh, we're just going to put up with it because it's it's unfair. So it's really awesome that they're doing that. It's really, really awesome that they're, they're doing that. Um, <clears throat> kind of, I kind of still hope that the event does go great. I'm I'm kicking myself because I'm going to miss it. I'm, go I'm not going to be available on the 28th to watch it. So I'm going to have yeah. to watch... Um, I, I wonder, do you think somebody's going to make like a comp, like a compilation video or something like that with all like the footage put together? There, there's already enough before too with, with, with the uh, last event. So I'd imagine mm -hmm. we're probably getting the same thing this time around too. Yeah, I hope so. Cause I really there was so much yeah. coverage. Uh, so, imagine. so much coverage. Yeah, because the, really cool. the last event I completely missed. I didn't manage to watch many clips about it. So um, I'm definitely going to have to get myself to watch them for the next week's show to talk about it because obviously you know it's the community it's 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 an event and <clears throat> and it's it's a really awesome event really awesome idea so i'm still wishing that Nothing i like the absolute best with it 100 percent looping full <laughs> looping full circle around the community support that daisy's been giving recently mm -hmm. daisy was publicly advertising that the first time around the first event you know and like the, word, yeah. the fact that they were doing that it, it, like that's just so amazing, you know? And they congratulated yeah. them in that month's uh, community spotlight. Like, really? Like, the fact <laughs> that they wanted to follow along and actually enjoy the event? Not a lot of modern companies would do that anymore, honestly. No. In, fa in fact, I'm going to touch on that, actually, because there was a period of time that the community spotlight didn't really touch on the modern side. I mean, Dump, you, you, you'll, you've expressed quite a bit of, I believe, a little bit of frustration about that in the past. It was over yourself or... Boyd, he probably is Boyd, you know what he's like, adopt a modder. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, but it's actually really cool that they're focusing a little bit more from what I've, from what I understand, a bit more on the modding side, a little bit here, there, and everywhere, which is great. Um, but it's, it is even really. Even console modding, too. Exactly. You know? They've, uh, even like the builders, I've seen a lot of people, uh, I think it was two months ago. Two three months ago, they they showcased one of the people in the console community that was making like free builds and throwing those out for people to use. Yeah. So, and even then, like <clears throat> Scale Speeder was featured in the Armor uh, community spotlight. I know, isn't that cool? I I saw that. I saw that. I didn't I didn't manage to read it, but I saw that and I was like, fucking good on you, mate. Branshaw, get yourself involved. Good on you. Are, are you still here? Be are honest. Scale Speeder is one of the only people that I've seen really doing proper tutorials for Reforger. Now, a lot of people dropped off it, so it's just, just seeing that he's sticking true to it, it's, it's amazing, you know? He's one of the main people providing documentation for even doing that kind of stuff, you know? Running the mods. Mm -hmm. oh, I think he even has some, like, for hosting servers now, you know? So, 
for people who want to learn more about the back end of Reforger and how to how to do stuff in it, or even I think he even does stuff for Arma Arma Three. Yeah, I totally suggest he checking out his Arma channel. Arma Three, DayZ, Arma Reforger. He does so much. It's amazing. Everything Bohemia. Scale Spear is an awesome guy. Here, I'll throw his um, I'll throw his channel in chat. Absolutely, go ahead, do that. Pardon me. Pardon also, me. I'd like to I'm say, still uh, betting from this. I'm still betting from this. Skill speeder, welcome to the modding family, bro. You made your first loading screen. <laughs> Don't get hooked too hard. <laughs> but um, no, but it's it's it is again, it's really cool that people who are putting genuine effort into the community are getting getting the spotlight. On them. It's really really nice. It's especially considering the the, the past. Um, the previous spotlights and there was such a long period of time where there just wasn't any they stopped doing them completely and when they brought it back it was like what? it was a genuine shock and it keeps getting better every single time actually I wonder what, I wonder when we're going to get the new one hopefully soon You know what? I'm not going to be surprised if the mad lad that we talked about at the start of the stream is going to be on the community spotlight. You'll be like the first page. You'll be like, so this mad lad, he decided to just ask, and we were like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, God. But, you know, <clears throat> but when it comes back down to the events, you know, we're talking about the, the, the issue that Ariana's facing, which, you know, if, if you're watching, I really do hope the absolute best for the events. Again, sorry, I, I am missing it. You know, fingers crossed it goes well, and uh, I, that iron brew, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's finally getting to us. Did someone say iron brew? No, I shouldn't have another one. I've had like four cans today. <laughs> the, f the fifth one calls for me. Or he got you back on the fix. Yeah, honestly, you know, you know what it is. He was talking about it. He was telling us about the taste, about what was a vimto in the in the bar, sodas. And we're like, oh yeah, bars sucks and Vimto. Eh. I, I, I went shopping at Asda today, and I, you know, just getting a couple of bits and bobs. And I, and I saw, I saw the, I saw the cans. I was like, oh, go on then. <laughs> I took one sip, and I'm like, feels like home. <laughs> nice. Eh, lord, eh, lord. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely. Hoping the absolute best for that event. And all future events that's coming up, I haven't been able to keep track of any. So if, if you guys know of any events that's coming up, please post about it in the um, the podcast Discord link. Uh, Dump, you've been posting it um, in the chat. So at the end of the show, we'll post that link again, unless you just want to post it every minute from that one. <laughs> Um, for, <laughs> for some reason, the usual bots, they're not working at the moment. Uh, going to hopefully find out what happened there and get that all sorted out. Um, they're but always yeah, breaking. You know, <laughs> they're always breaking, yeah, Jesus Christ. But yeah, you know, any events that's coming up, um, do let us know about it. We'd love to get more coverage and, and watch it and whatnot. Hobo Wars tomorrow, great event. Who's hosting that again? He wanted to think that's Spaggy, but it's not, is it? No, no, he does the run diary try events, yeah. Yeah. Marx is great. Mar Marx's content is absolutely brilliant. You know, he's 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 absolutely nailed it out of the park. Orcs, right. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Um if I can. But uh but yeah. And with that, unless there's anything guys you wanna you wanna add on as a little impromptu topic. Well, Daisy did hey, post uh a little while ago, uh, <laughs> they wanted people to post their favorite screenshot, and I thought this was yes! kind of a cool little yes! outrage. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, I yeah. completely, I completely forgot about that. That is my bad. I completely so, apologize. I went through and I found my favorite one. Yeah, here's here's committed. here's my favorite one. <laughs> of course, it's mine. Let's have a look. What was yours? That's what was yours. This one's mine. I think it's. Quite organic. It's pure, um, it looks almost Wait. pure vanilla. I like that. I like that a lot, like actually. A yeah, it's a bunch of people trying to survive. Someone's peeking around the corner about to pop them. There's somebody dead there, you can see. Yeah. I wonder if uh, these people are uh, <clears throat> cannibals. Naughty. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Very very naughty. But yeah, I mean, I I, I took a look at quite a few of the submissions. <laughs> Thank you very much for the three pound. Much appreciated. Can I have a good 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 and good show again? Thank you much appreciated. Um, Delith, you know, yeah, posted posted this picture here. Quite nice. I quite I quite like some of the stuff here. I'm pretty sure that's um. That's nice. Yeah, I can't remember the mother's name. Reverend, he was previously on the show as well. His his, his content is absolutely brilliant. You should definitely check him out. Oh, that's nice. I like that one a lot, actually. <laughs> Peering into my soul. But yeah, some of these some of these um, submissions are actually being quite quite funny. Mike Doctor Lee, of course, holding the two zucks. Daisy Hub with a great picture there as well. I really like the images, to be fair. Yeah, Big 5, 5G2. Blue G. I like that. Funny story about Daisy Hub, actually. A little timbit. Mm -hmm. He was the first person to show me how to do a few things in uh, the Daisy editor. So he's he's pretty much the reason why Zagoria happened. It's awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. So, that is pretty cool. I, I I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he knew that, but I didn't. Now actually. he does. If he's in chat, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to raid on YouTube, um, Boydie. Unfortunately, I don't know how to. So, never done it before. I can't remember doing it on on here at least. It's but, a newer uh, thing. It's a newer thing, right? Okay. But yeah, I mean the 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 the, the submissions—they were absolutely brilliant. Some of Namos, I believe this is Namos here by Jez. That's a nice picture, actually. Really like that. Still looking forward to that update. My dude never misses an episode. <laughs> like that. You know, yes, one of the coolest things. My bad. No, no, go on, go on. I was gonna say one of the coolest things about this is not only is Daisy reaching out to the community, but it's more about how the community responded. You have a ton of very original and very cool looking pictures, even if they're slightly edited. There's no like major like trolls or anything else. And it shows so many different ways people actually enjoy the game. Even if they went, and went out of their way to go and create a screenshot for this, mm -hmm. it's just the variety of players and the screenshots they are submitting is so Absolutely. cool. It is pretty cool, though. It is really, really cool. And it's it's nice that people did come together for that to to show off that content. And it's... I, I actually... I have actually been quite a fan of those kind of posts that Daisy's been doing for a while with with regards to that. Um, at first, I, at first I thought it was a bit annoying, like... Don't update me, like don't update me on that. I don't care. I don't. I want just give us updates. But now it's like, oh look at that picture. Oh god, I've got to see this picture. That's nice. That's probably dear. That that. That's very pretty. Probably. But um, what's the saying? He completely threw us off track there, dump. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't ha ha me, sunshine. <laughs> You didn't interrupt me in mid-conversation because my brain just goes... Hey, lad. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> oh, right, okay. I was saying... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I actually legitimately forgot what I was talking about. Oh, my bloody God. We were talking about the community, people submitting pictures, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But now it's like, you know, I check my phone, I get the notifications in, and the amount of people post and response to those kind of tweets is actually really awesome. And the creativity And we haven't people... been seeing any lad screenshots recently either. Very interesting. So anyway, that's the end of today's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know what it is? I actually do miss just going back and just making screenshots, but I get so frustrated myself because I've got ideas in my head. I just don't know how to how to pull it off. But yeah, but that is actually genuinely going to be the end of tonight's podcast. But before we actually do finish, obviously we've got our spotlights. Dump, I want you to go first. What has been your spotlight for this week? 
Um, I would have to say that it has been uh, all of the people trying to show support for some of the smaller uh, servers. Mm -hmm. One thing I like to do is I like to look at the server list to see what servers are actually working and which ones are not. Yeah, You know what? It seems like some of the smaller servers that are a little bit not necessarily, uh, you know, Deathmatch or a Call of Duty ones are starting mm -hmm. to get a little bit of a population again. And I know it sounds silly to not call out specific servers or anything else, but I'm just happy to see that the population is starting to go towards the thing. And, you know, it always weighs back and forth. But yeah. I think it's really cool that there are enough high quality, harder servers out there that this is starting to show. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's good. That is a really awesome action. Just got to start pushing on Xbox too now. No. Well, it's console in general. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, baby. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't yeah. see the mold, boy. <coughs> I say that. I just nearly choked on my own fucking air. <laughs> bye bye, dear. <laughs> what about uh, yourself, Lemons? What's been your spotlight this week? You know what? Is it the, the community? community. Uh, no, no, no. no. Oh you know who I'm shouting at? You know who I'm shouting out? Who? Fucking Scotty, man, legend, you know what? absolute yeah. legend. You know what? He he he's such like a unsung hero. Honestly, he does so much for the community. He does so many little things that people really don't know happen, even in the background. You know, the stuff that we see publicly is like a like a little a little flash in the pan compared to like the overall stuff that he does. You know, in mm -hmm. uh, as his role at Bohemia, and I just yeah. I gotta thank the man. You know, he's done so much. And I hope he does. It keeps doing that for years to come for the community. You know, just the, for the community, right? <laughs> it goes full <laughs> circle. So yes. no, Absolutely. but like bless that man though. Amazing person, and he's brilliant. He has been killing. Let's go to let's go to Prague. Let's get that going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, again, I would legit if they if they said to me like lads, if you like you and the team legit want to come visit the office for like an interview or something like that, I'd be like, you know what, mate, I would definitely accept i would so go and then i can visit doj and force them to add the red nine and batteries and yep clouds <laughs> <laughs> but my spotlight this week is actually going to be somebody who's reached out to me previously in the past for um some some advice modding stuff um, been playing on their servers every now and again. They're my main Namalsk server, and it's a guy called Crex. He regularly plays with um, with Echo, uh, Echoix, who's been on the show previously um, during Boydie's tenure. And you know, I've talked to him quite a few times. I've had a good laugh with him. He's, he seems really funny. He's, he's a stand-up guy, and I really enjoy his server. I really enjoy his deathmatch server as well, and. He's just a stand-up guy. He's been absolutely killing it with the server. He's been killing it with the streamers. So props to him. Props to his community as well. I've met some really awesome people over the past couple of weeks through that server. So I hope the best for him. I really, really do. I really, really do. Nice. But with that, that will finally <laughs> be it for tonight's episode, Daisy Podcast. Episode That's all she wrote, folks. 117. And that is it. It's been absolutely wonderful. Thank you, everybody, so much. I want to thank all of our supporters. Uh, I want to thank everybody, absolutely everybody, for coming in. I really do appreciate it. But with that, Dump Lemons, I bid you farewell. See you next week. Same time, same place, as always. The Daisy Podcast. Uh, yes, much sir. love, guys. Take care, my friend. Take care of yourselves. And with that, my, my, my boys and girls, that is it. That is the end of episode 117 of Daisy Podcast. I want to thank everybody. I've completely lost track of everybody who's donated the gifted subs and everything like that. It's been absolutely wonderful. The viewership tonight has been great. We've had two new members come in. Really, really fantastic. You've all been wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I said kind of at the start of the stream that thank you very much. thank you very much everybody I really do appreciate it but I kind of said at the start of the stream that one of our most recent episodes uh, with the greedy peasant I think that was one episode 114 um, they that's recently hit over 2,000 views on that video which 
is insane to me. Like, the, the idea, the whole thought, that was absolutely insane. And this stream, the, the, the banter, everybody here has been absolutely wonderful. And I know there's been previously, like, a little bit, you know... You know, some people's been asking for Boydy to come back, and I completely understand. I, I, I really do, but I still do hope that you guys enjoy the podcast. I really do hope that you still enjoy what we've been trying to do here in the past few months. And, you know, I, I'm certainly not going anywhere. So, again, I really, really do appreciate all the love and support. You've been wonderful. Um, Don Paul already put the podcast Discord link just up above. Uh, if there is somebody I want you guys to please check out, I believe he's still currently streaming. Um, he was previously on the show quite a number of episodes ago. Um, I would love you to check out Facility BJJ. Um, I've just um, shared that link there. Please click on it. Please just let him know that lad from the podcast and the podcast team has sent everybody there. Please check him out. He's absolutely brilliant. And yeah, the devs dropping in is really, really cool. I ain't coming back. Deal with it. Well, that's well, that's it. it boy, boy, do you know he's done some great work, and I hope that I can continue to to do well for you guys. But with that, I will have to say goodbye, good night. You've been absolutely brilliant. Check out facility BGJ. Much love to you all. Have a good night. Take care.